All right, here we go, guys. How y'all doing? Black Peace. Purple. Peace to uh to to my uh, African nationalists. <laughs> and um basically we here to uh set the record straight of what it means to be black. Um black means as you can see the title means black means African. Now, I just seen a video of our brother, what's his name, Talik? Yes, sir. And, and he was saying that, and, and this is, I'm just paraphrasing, that we don't need to know, we don't really need to go backwards, and we don't, when we're not really African people, and anything that, when we start wearing African garment, we were in a costume and we're trying to be something that we're not. This is according to what he's saying. He said that we're not African people, we're European Negro or we're soul brother and sister, which I don't know what that means. What is a soul brother and sister? Because what's, her, what's, that, what's that white lady name? I forgot her name. She was saying Rick James. Well, I couldn't tell you, my brother. Oh, let me let me pull it up. I'll pull it up right now. But um, I pull it up right now. But uh, they call her the Ivory of Soul. I don't know if you ever heard that saying. Okay. Yes. Yes, indeed. Let me let me pull this up. Rick James. You probably should. You could have put it up in the hangout to where the audience could. Not because I got question. some things set up. Okay, cool. And I want to just show something. And oh, Tina Marie, that's her name. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tina Marie, they call her Ivory of Soul. Oh, basically, a white woman was sold. They okay. call John B a white man was sold. So that doesn't, you know, I mean, anytime you call white people, they got soul, like, like black folks, you know, I, I feel, you know, um, they call, they say Bill Clinton was black. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to be called something that we don't really have an understanding of what it is. I mean, yes, we do have a soul. Anything that we do is from the, from the spirit. Soul means spirit. This is region where spirituality comes into place. Spirit means anything that we touch, we bring it to life. Okay. And spirituality come from Africa. Okay. So when we said we got we are people from soul, yeah, we got soul. Like you got Soul Train, uh, um, when you that movie called Soul Plane, you know that means the spirit. That means we're spiritual, spiritual people. And white people don't have it. White people just they which they copycats. They mimic. They mimic it. That's what they call the movie. That's what they call the movie. The mimic. I don't know if you've seen that movie, but, but there's a movie called The Mimic. So that's what they do. They take our stuff, fight it, and claim it as theirs. They take us. So, because when I heard first, when I heard Tina Marie, I thought she was a black. I thought I thought she was a sister. But they was, but she was trying to, to in order in order to make a mu music sound good, she has to sound like a sister. You see what I'm saying? So, um, this is what we're saying. But he's saying, according to him, according to this brother, he was saying that um, we're, we're Negro, we're what you call European Negroes, according to him. But first of all, I'm not a European Negro, number one, because it was European Negroes that killed Malcolm. It was European Negroes that persecuted and basically, um, destroyed uh, Marcus Messiah Garvey Jr. It was Negro, it was European Negroes that set up Dr. King. So, and I can go on and on and on. So I don't want to be associated with no European nothing. I'm not a European Negro. I come from somewhere. My ancestors come from somewhere. If you really look at it, Craig, right? Yes. 
you take a baby, you just say you take a baby elephant mm -hmm. from the mother. You raise the baby elephant. Now the elephant, that's all it knows is, is being around humans from the, from the time he's a baby, the time that ba the elephant is a baby, all the way to the, from the time that he becomes an adult. Now, just say you let it go, right, into, in, into the safari. Now, with, uh, the elephant, what he's going to see, he's going to see a, back, a box of uh, a bunch of lions, zebras, um, giraffes, and he's going to see elephants. Who do you think the elephant who grew up with humans, who do you think he's going to be more associated to? Who do you think is, what group that he's going to, you know, go towards or, or join? He's going to join with a bunch of elephants. He's going to see himself. Even though he might not have the elephant way of life, but they were more likely, the elephants were more likely to accept him than a, than a bunch of lions, the giraffes, the zebras, the lions. This, and just same thing with us, Craig. If we go to Africa, the African man and woman would accept us more because we resembles them. Even though we might not have the, the culture down pack, even though we might not have the language, but we, we are more accepted yeah. than if we went to Europe or India or Asia. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Now, I'm going to show you, Craig, that we are African people. And I'm going to show you that the way he, the way I'm going to show you that number one, not only are we African people, but not all of us, uh, we all have something in common. Okay. Now, what I'm going to show you, Craig, I'm going to share something with you. Okay, just give me one second. Oh, shoot. All right, this is what he put. Okay. All right, this is what he put. This is what he showed, Craig. You see it? Yes, yes. This is what he showed. I don't know if you remember the video, but he showed this. Okay, I didn't get a chance to watch it. Right, all this is black people in their village, in their in their traditional clothing or whatever you want to call it, in their outfits. Now, he thinks he said this is African people. This is how uh, if we was African, we would dress like this and we would live like this. Well. When he fails to show you, Craig, that they're not gonna, he's not going to show you African people that also wear suit and ties, right? Not all of black people are living like that. So don't we wear suit and ties when we go to work? Right. Right. Now, I'm going to show you something, Craig, that you that you either you know or it might blow your mind. Now he's showing all this because, and you see nothing but you, you see this, right? Yeah. This is how he said black people, if we was African, we'd be living like this and we'd be looking like how this lady be looking and looking like this guy like this if we were African people. Okay. But if you look up here, Craig, these are the these are just the just the top most beautiful cities in Africa, right? right. Yes. Look at Angola, Craig. Yep. Look how beautiful Angola. Don't that look like United States, but yeah. better? Yeah. Okay. And look at all the. If you look at look at all the businesses. Right. Okay, we got roads, right? Africa got roads, beaches. Yep. Okay, we got buildings. This is another 
uh, place in Africa, right? Yeah. Look at Kenya. Yeah. Look better than New York, Chicago. Okay. This is the this is where this is the capital. This is where people work, get up and go to work. Look at South Africa, Cap Town. Look at that, Craig. Right. The, he yeah. didn't show you this. Look at Egypt. Look how beautiful Egypt is. Yeah. Okay, look at Port Louis. Right? That's in Africa. Look at this. Beautiful. All this is Africa. Look at Nigeria. Ooh, that looks nice. All this is Africa. This is Johannesburg. Right? Yeah. All this is beautiful. But he don't show you that. He didn't show you that. He he showed you safari. He didn't show you all these big, beautiful cities that look way better than the cities in America. I wonder why. We can't wear, don't black people wear suit and ties and business attire, but they drive cars. This is how they look at it. And this is in Africa. But I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to break something out through. He said, he said he was a, when he was 10 years old, he said that his hero was Elijah Muhammad. And he was like how Elijah Muhammad talk about, he's, we come from Asia and all this other stuff. And I'm not doubting that. But I think he's, I think maybe Elijah Muhammad was confused. I don't know. But if you look at the final call, I'm going to show you something right here. You see this? Mm -hmm. This is the final call. It says the black man of the USA or and Africa, not Asia, not India, not Europe. And this is what it says, Craig, by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. And then we go scroll all the way down here. Should have read that first one. That first um sentence, man, was so powerful. Well, well, let me let me take this out because this is reprinted from Muhammad speaks on October 17, 1969. Yes, sir. So let's go back up. It says the two brothers. The black man of America and the black man of Africa must. What it says, Craig? Must. It says must. What's must that? unite again. All right. It says Africa was the continent that we were. Or was it? It says, Craig. I'll let you read it. It says Africa was the continent that we were originally brought from. Exactly. Exactly. So I said the black man of Africa, the original black people of the earth are our real brothers. Now this is coming from a large mile, his favorite, his hero, his hero is saying this, Craig. Yeah. So is he confused? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get deeper, Greg. We're gonna Craig, we're gonna get deeper. We're gonna see what Malcolm said. Now I'm gonna show you something. Speaking of Malcolm, I'm gonna show you this. Who's that, Craig? <laughs> Who's Malcolm that? X. No, no, no. <laughs> who's that? Who's this dude? <laughs> That's my brother Talik. Yes, sir. Now, <laughs> Talik, what button did he represent? <laughs> Malcolm X. That's His Malcolm brother X. Malcolm X. Yes, sir. But he has his outfit is Jap is Japanese. All right. And he know damn well he ain't no Japanese. And I think it's an insult to represent a Japanese and put a Maka Max button on. All right. I think it's an insult, Craig, because Asian people don't respect us. Like they, 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 they I mean, they like us when we play basketball. You know, they, they like our, uh, as far as our culture, as far as, that, you know, as far as our music and they try to 
simulate themselves, uh, but they don't really respect us like they should. You know, you can't go to Japan and set up shop, but they could come to your community and set up shop. Anywhere in Asia, since we Asiatic people, you can't go anywhere in Asia and set up set up shop. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They 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 follow a code that no one. They would not. They won't even want to do business with you, Craig. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So for him to even wear that is silly. You Knowing Asian people want to even respect this man as a as a black man. Now he wearing a Marka Max button on. Red, black, and green. But what did Malcolm say? What did Malcolm say? Let's find out. All right. You see this, Craig? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to read the top. <clears throat> okay, just a second, brother. It's still showing the picture of Brother Tyleek with the pen. Oh, At least okay. it is. Oh, let, me, oh, let, me, oh, let, me, let me do something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see something. Let me see something. Okay, let me um, let me see if I can pull this up. Hold on. Okay, here we go. You said? Yeah. Okay, you said now, right? Okay, cool. Now, it says, I'm going to read the top. It says, Malcolm says, you can't hate the roots. Of, the, of a tree and not hate the tree. You cannot hate Africa and not hate yourself. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna read number two. The real names of our people were destroyed during slavery. The last name of my forefathers was taken from, from them when they were brought to America and made slaves. And then the name of the slave master was given, which we refuse. We reject the name today and refuse it. I never acknowledge whatsoever. But according to Talik, we should be proud to be European Negroes. We should be proud of what the slave master gave us. And we should just move forward don't look backwards. You got, you said that, Craig, you got black people. Kids don't even know who they are. And they wander around like zombies. But let's read what Malcolm, this is the big one. I like this one. And Craig, you know about this. And I'm going to let you read it, Craig, loud and clear. Okay, let's go. We're not Americans. We're Africans who happen to be in America. We were kidnapped and brought here against our will from Africa. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. That rock landed on us. Bingo. Now, <laughs> now according to, now this is coming from Malcolm X. Okay? This is coming from Malcolm X, the same man that he have on his, he got a button on his, on his, on his chest. Now, Elijah Muhammad said it. You got Malcolm said it. Well, Craig, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> just say, you, you, you just say you're a professional boxer and you got an upcoming fight. And and just say, just say, for example, you know, you got a big fight coming up and you want to be the best. What do you do, Craig? What do you do to be the best as, as besides training or whatever like that? What you're going to do, Craig, you're going to look at old legends. You're going to look at the Muhammad Ali. You're going to look at the Mike Tyson's. The Sugar Ray Leonard's, you're going to see how they bob and weave and you're going to try to mimic them because you got a just big fight coming up. All the greats have done that. All the greats go back to the past and learn. That's how we move forward. So I don't understand 
how he can not know that we're not African people. And you got a lot of people that come up and they're lost. You know, so I had, I'm just going to, I just had to set the, set the record straight. You know, I had to set the, the set the record straight on that. Because he looks, really looks down on, on Africa. He really looks down on Africa. He don't want to have no part of Africa. He thinks Africa is nothing but a safari. There's nothing out there. He thinks that even though we might have some sort of resemblance, we are, we are a different breed. I don't know what type of breed that is. Because like I said, if you look at, look at the plans of the apes, give you a perfect example. Look at the movie plans of apes, how Caesar was named after a white man. And when he didn't understand why he, he couldn't fit in with the humans. He couldn't understand it. So what did they do? What did they do? What did they do to him, Craig? They locked him up with the other apes. Now the other apes were real apes. They came from they they was apes. They didn't grow up with no human. And they were they were they would look they looked at him like he was different. They knew he was an ape, but they were saying no, you too much of a you you too much of a human. But when he realized that Caesar realized. This is where I belong. He became to know who he was. And now he became more ape than those apes that kind of reject him at first. Now, look where he, he became the most powerful leader of, of the planet of the apes. You see what I'm saying? So we can learn from stuff like that. So not all of us was raped. Not all of us was uh, was uh, uh, not all the black women was raped and 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 some of them, some of us did keep our African tradition that learned from who our, our, look look at look at voodoo. Now of course white people that's that's a white people's term voodoo, but that's really uh, voodoo really comes from from Africa that they, they call it. Um, there's something that is called uh, uh, witch. They call it witch, witch doctors. That's all it is. They witch doctors. You know what I'm saying? But white people, oh, that's voodoo. It's evil. Anything that's black is evil. So, long as I know, I had to just put that out there because, um, like I said, Talik is, you know, he's a good brother, but I just feel like he's. He's misinformed. I don't know what I don't know what uh, I don't know what why he how he come up with that conclusion that we're not African people and we and we not wearing traditional clothing and and if we do we wearing a costume we not being ourselves and I don't know Craig like when you the video, whatever the whatever you got from it, Craig. I don't know what your stands on it, but what are your thoughts? Or what are your thoughts as far as uh, of his video compared to what I'm saying? Okay, like I was saying a little bit earlier, I've been kind of busy for the last week, so I only was able to watch. I think like the first 20 minutes. I uh -huh. think he did like a two part. A series to that video and I haven't had the chance yet to go back and watch it all but at the end of the day the way I look like look at it is this um what Dr. Umar Johnson calls post-traumatic slavery disease I mean it, it's just you know it's part of the Willie Lynch Willie right Lynch. right you know, we were bred like this we were bred to hate each other so even though there might be animosity amongst some African Americans with um, Africans who are native, you know, to the continent. It's mm -hmm. only, it's the white man's plan, you know, to divide us based off of petty differences exactly. and stuff like that. So a lot of Negroes, they feed up, you know, they feed off into that. But then again, you have to just look around and just see like some of these people who profess to be um, scholars and 
how they want to always talk about that we're aboriginals we are the original red man you mm -hmm. know that we're native to you know north america mm -hmm. you know that we don't even come from africa but um i was thinking possibly you might be able to give your opinion on that but at the end of the day i personally know that i've had that i have personal ties to africa and mm -hmm. the reason i say that is because um my great grandfather actually um was a immigrant who came over here wow. from the continent so the thing is man what you really have to sit back and uh, what we have to sit back uh, and try to get the record straight on is the fact that it's a lot of different stories like a lot of of our so-called scholars say that we're aboriginal i mean so you got to think it's a lot of people that actually listen to that a lot of people listen to that and they spread you know these so-called teachings and findings and stuff like that so what's your take on that so we got to be careful because when you start saying that we're original people you're giving white people a reason not to give us reparations because now you're like well saying well because the, the bottom line about reparations that remember we was kidnapped and we was brought over here you know from our from our from our will so we didn't we didn't have a choice we had guns to our head but by by when people say you know i think people got to be very careful because you don't want to get white people uh, 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 some um ammunition ammunition as far as them them saying that you know, or we, well, since you was over here, why well, we had to give you reparations for? You know, you volunteered. You was volunteers. You volunteered to work. You know, so they could make it. They could make up anything, and say that, oh well, we didn't really enslave you. Because remember, they taking a lot of. They still trying to find ways to take that, take slavery out the history books. So, you can't be slaves if you was already here. You see what I'm saying? So, we got to be very careful. Oh, I that. would have to 100% say that I agree with you. We are African people. And if you look around, just look around at different continents. If you look at all four corners of this planet, if you go to Asia, I mean, you could go to Asia, starting from Asia to Europe, you know what I'm saying, from Europe to the Middle East, uh, go all the way to the Americas. What landmass do you see people on that look like us? Exactly. I mean, exactly. if we're Aboriginal, we're not from Africa, then why are like all of these um, immigrant Chinese and all of these immigrant Middle Easterns? I mean, they coming from a place of people that look like them and they have a direct connection back to their people. Yeah, they came over here because of certain opportunities, but that doesn't mean that they don't belong to that group of people. Exactly. There's no other place that holds as many black people. That look mm -hmm. like us. I mean, if you go, if you just look at, yeah, on some of those pictures or whatever, you know, you see us in different forms. But like, if you look at pictures from Ghana, like pictures from Nigeria, you know, places like that, them people look just like the African, so-called African America that's mm -hmm. in this country. We look just like those people. Exactly. I mean, so we resemble them so much. It's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Where else do we come from? We don't come from Asia. We don't come from uh, Russia. Mm -hmm. Where else do we come from? We don't come from the Americas. At least I don't believe that. No, nah, no. Nah. We we will say first, yes. Will we say first, yes. But we re you got to remember, because of the climate change or whatever, like I said, it took 10 years. 10 years for mutation. People do mutate. That's just that's just reality. We mutate, you know what I'm saying. So if people have mutated, that means they lost. That means they had to adopt to their environment. So this is reason why they. This is reason why you got people that look look weird and look strange, and they had to uh, you know do things to. Uh, uh, um, to adapt to their situation. But those black people that they talking about, they died out. 
they died out. But they left something behind to let you let you show that hey, we was here. We let you know we was here. Just like the Egyptians. They all died out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what type of black people that they talking about because the black people that, that was that was around the, the black people, there's no I never there was no black people when the European invaded this country. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what black people they could be talking about. They have to show me proof for that. Maybe you could break this down. You already know we are a tropical people. We come from a tropical climate. Yeah. Why do we have melanin in our skin? Thank you. Why do we have melanin in our skin? We are tropical people. We we don't do good in cold climates, man. We get we sick, you know, come down with the flu. Like it cha- it's, We've been taken out of our natural habitat. It's true. Africa is a very hot climate. That's true. So I want to know how, and, and, and I want, and you know, just the question to Taliga, I just want to know how, do, you know, you, you expect people to, 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 he, he says something about be yourself. I want to know what do you mean by being myself? Like being myself, like what? Because was with the OJ Simpson, did he be the was he himself when he started dating white women? You know what I'm saying? So when you see a black person be you know be themselves and dating white women and and having mixed children and that's all they associate is white women and and, and white men. That's all they associate with is white people. Are they being themselves? But then you want to get mad when they go outside their race and marry outside race. You want to get mad when their money don't go back to the, the community. But you said, but, but, you, but you want people to be themselves. And I'm a little confused. See, 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 look, the poison messages like that is scary because you don't want people to, you, you know, it's, it's another form of brainwashing, but you got young people saying, well, he said be, be himself, so I'm going to go out there and 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 just just abandon a black woman and just marry white women because I'm being myself. I'm a Negro. I'm a I'm a European Negro. I'm a Negro pen. I speak English. So you know we got to be very careful. But 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 the, here's the thing: he's wearing a mock. See, I think what, what bothers me: he wearing a mock Max button, and that's what that's what bothers me. Markham didn't say that. Markham never said, be yourself. Show me one thing that Markham said. So you said Markham, so you said Markham is wrong. He didn't know what the hell he was talking about. And he forgot that Markham was a Garvey knight. Am I right, Craig? Didn't he learn all that stuff? Why do you think the nation of Islam kicked him out? He was he wasn't into that Asiatic stuff that they was preaching. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't into that. Khalid Muhammad wasn't into all that into that what the nation was preaching. The nation of Islam was just c- confused. They just confused. They don't know if they want to be Asian or in Africa. But Malcolm knew the truth. So I'm just kind of confused. What did he, you know, he need to elaborate on that more. And he showed you one little picture of some black people and he's going to say, oh, these are African people. Like all black people living like that. I felt insulted. That's the European myth. See, Craig, you see see how the white man had got us? Even the most intelligent black man sound like, like Talik, sound like a, a racist white man. He thinks all black people are come from the safari with African garment. Like they, we're like, we not scientists and doctors and we don't come up with suit and ties going to be- beautiful uh, business buildings like the one I showed you in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the, in the, um, in the pictures. You know, I, I just felt insulted. I just really felt insulted when he showed those pictures. And those are, don't get me wrong, those are beautiful people. But, but, all of us don't live like that. We can we can 
that we can one day wear our dashiki and wear our African go because that's who we are. You got people from Craig. I met people, Asian people who's already whether they're Japanese, Koreans, or whatever, that never been to their motherland. Never been to the motherland, but they still keep the culture. I know this one Asian guy. He don't even. He can't even speak Mandarin. He never been to the motherland in in, in, in China. But he kept the culture. He kept the culture. How was a person who said? And he and guess what, Craig? Here's the funny thing about it. He has no interest of going to China. He said, "Why do I need to go to China? I already know my culture through my parents or whatever, through my grandparents or whatever. I already know who I am." So if if he if they can do that, why we can? Why do we have to be a different breed? Like what, Craig? I just want to know what is your opinion on this when you said that we're a, a, a different breed, like we're dogs. Now the original the original dog is the wolf. I get that, but not yeah. every black woman was raped because they did. They remember in slavery they said most of the most of the uh, the breeding was for the black man and black woman. To make more slaves. So where's these hundreds of mixed breeds, of of of, of, of what they call it cross breeds, the, the 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 white man having raping a black woman? Where where are all they? When you have hundreds of breeding as far as the 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 black man and a black woman, I want to know. Well, <clears throat> the way I look at it. When to me, the feeling that I get when he says that uh, we are a new breed, I look at that as I could kind of agree with it in a sense, saying that we have been so far removed. We have been so far removed from our culture and our customs. Like if you look at the American Negro, you know, today, and uh, I see my brother Talik has joined in. Mm -hmm. of course but the way i look at it like like i was telling you when he says that i just look at it like you know we've been so far removed and it's like we've went through this mental transformation you know from from our white slave masters i mean you know our former white slave masters like th that's the way i look at that i don't necessarily think because a lot of things that he says i agree with you know what I'm saying, to an extent. Now, one thing I don't agree with is the fact that I don't have roots in Africa because I know for a fact, me personally, I can't speak for anybody else, but I know me personally. I have the documentation. My great-grandfather was an immigrant that came over here from Africa, and he came over here for better opportunity and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, the white man, you know, pillaged and raped and destroyed and introduced... um christianity and um the islamic faith into africa and stuff like that and has sit there and raped and robbed the entire land so yes you know the white man is ruthless you know the white man has you know made his fortune and took over the world you know by oppressing dark-skinned people mm -hmm. so you know you know, the whites and Arabs and stuff, you know, the original, you know, the people that came, you know, that came down in Africa and conquered, you know, some of those tribes and stuff like that. And, you know, brought the Quran and, you know, the Bible into Africa. Yeah, they have, you know, they have polluted the minds of African people over there. You know, so it's like, I, I do definitely agree with some things that he says. But at the same time, well, actually, I see my brother is, is on camera right now. <laughs> but I guess he's on mute. I know I can't hear you, brother. Talit. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Well, yeah, I'm muted. I, I, welcome. I, I, thought, I thought I was on. Uh, I thought it was already on. I guess it. Welcome to this discussion, <laughs> sir. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, folks, I don't know what it is. It's been a busy day for me today. Phone been ringing off the hook. Folks want to talk to me, and uh, I got relatives in town, and, uh, you know, I'm tired. I just got off, you know, 
got off from work not too long ago and trying to rest up. And, you know, I, I made a video earlier today. It's just been sort of on the busy side today. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I just I heard just a little taste of the conversation. I, I, I know uh, another guy <laughs> with a little idea here. I like what he said. Yeah. What he's putting out is poison. I heard that part. I like, oh, oh, well, okay, here we go. <laughs> I did hear that part. I'm like, wow. What I'm putting down is poison. What I'm putting down is going to bring you death. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think anything I say can make things any worse than what it is right now. You know, <laughs> there's already enough poison out there. I can't kill you no more than... You know, you can't kill a dead man. I've never seen it done before. You can't get no worse than what it is. I only get 10 views of video, so I don't know how the hell I'm going to be bringing poison. You know, them other boys that, that's, that's getting thousands of views, they're the ones bringing the, bringing the poison. Yeah, that's true, too. You, you, know, you got that right. You know, keep people on the dead side. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm here, and, I, you know, I, I try to answer those 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 questions and you know because you were saying something what did i catch you saying you said uh uh man what was it that you just said oh being you you said i should want i want people to be themselves and does that mean uh since i'm a negro peeing i want me a white woman and abandon the black woman. <laughs> you know, that, that kind of thing i never you know i, I never said no stuff like that I, now, never I, 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 know, I'm, I know I'm not saying that you said it. I'm just saying that you said be yourself. And you said that you, you did say the word be happy that you're a, a, a European Negro or soul. But I don't even know what it means. A soul brother me or soul sister means because you got white people that claim they got soul, too. And I was using I was using T Tina Marie. They call her the ivory of soul. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that that doesn't, you know, I don't want to be that's what I'm saying. I don't want to be connected to anything that white people can say for themselves. There are Caucasians that say that's they're Africans. They're they they live no, in exactly. that. They don't say that Africans. Some, some of some of them have been born on the African continent. They don't they use, yeah, they don't use the word African. They use Yes, it's they do. I've seen them. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They even dressed in traditional African type garment. You can they, go and go. But the but if you go to South Africa, they say they Afrikaans or Africanos or whatever. What difference it make? We, Af no, tomato, 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 tomato. What difference does it make? We know what you're talking about. They was born on that continent. Doesn't they matter. Are, but they, they, they won't are recognize. African. They won't consider themselves Africans. That's the thing. The ones that I've seen consider themselves African. We're saying I, I can't look at them as being Africans just They're because you're African. born in a country. All, I like I feel like that's something that that's that's a part of your creed. Well, you know, there is something in law, I forgot what it was called. I learned learned back in high school. It's called Joss Salus. Joss something, Salus, something to that effect. But anyway, it's an international law. If you are born on the soil of that nation, or whatever, you are a citizen. That's just how it goes. It's international well, they, might law. Be, they might be citizens. But the thing is, that's like I was telling Craig, if I take, let's say, for example, if I kidnap a lion, and the kid cut two lines, the male and female, and and that Literally line, they, they have children on this continent. Mm -hmm. That line would still be an African lion. It's still gonna be an African lion. So yeah, what they, I'm saying is that so you you so even but you but see those white people didn't come. They they they, they invaded. Those white people didn't come like how, how people well, should people come as far as they want to come and get a better life. Those are those are uh, uh, colonizers that just trying to steal the resources and trying to claim as a. I don't even consider them motherfuckers uh, African. They're not African. It doesn't matter because they didn't come <laughs> legit. You know, it don't make no difference what legit. it don't make no difference what you think or nothing. That's that's international law. You know, if you go, if you go, know, if wherever that child is born, it's agreed upon by the nations around the earth. If you born there. You because you are a citizen. That's just how it, it goes. They are a citizen, but what I'm I'm telling you, brother, I'm just saying they were born on the African continent. They African. Okay. Well, you like it or not? I'm no, sorry. No, no. You know, I don't care what you you can, I don't, you can argue all you want no, to. No, no. I'm just talking about what they say. 
They just as African as, as the black folks there. I'm going by what they saying. They saying they're not African. They call them. Well, I'm African. telling you, I'm telling you that there are Caucasian people who are claiming the same exact thing that the, the dark skin ones. I'm African. I was born there. Matter of fact, some of them are more African than some of the Negroes that's talking all this African stuff here because actually they've learned the language. They dress and they know the culture sure. and they dress. They dress not not African. Matter of fact, they don't claim African. They will tell you what tribe they are part of. Here's Unlike the thing. Let me step in real quick. Yes, I can definitely agree. But here's the thing. Here's one thing they'll never be. And they'll never be a person of melanin. They'll never be a person of melanin. Right. So, but I, but I hear both. Well, that, I hear well, both of you. Know yeah, that, so that's, I guess that, like, I guess that's the point I'm trying to get across. That, well, that's true. I mean, they can't be, I mean, of course, they Caucasian folks or whatever. They can't be a person of melanin. But as far as claiming that continent, especially if they was actually born there, they can claim it just like anybody else can. But the thing is, the thing is, what I'm saying to and you. Then is, all people didn't all didn't all people originate from there. So technically, all people are Africans anyway. Well, well, if you want to get if you want to get to the science of it, yes. But I'm just saying that we as as present as present day, they're not yeah. African people. They're not African people. They well, could be European, they could be yeah. European Afrikaners, like they, like they say, Afrikaners. Yeah, they, I heard that too. They're not African people. They're not African people. Because number one, I would. Why would you want to even, to, in order to be a citizen, mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta migrate there. They they didn't migrate. They went over there and invaded. It's a big difference. So that's why I don't. That's why it shouldn't be where. They should. That's this. This is the reason why they, the Africans right now in South Africa they taking back that land now, as we speak. Yeah. They got. They got smart. They said first they gave it back to them since they got rid of uh, Robert Mugabe. Mm -hmm. But then they said, "Oh, we crazy. We stupid. We gotta. They they come on. No, we taking that land back. So now it's another revolution going on right now. Yeah. So they 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 right now they woke up. Because if you remember, whoever controls the land controls the people. Yeah. I just saw a video just posted on Facebook. I don't know if you've seen it, Tali and Craig. How the, there was in South Africa, how this sister, how this, it was, I don't know. First of all, I don't even know what the fuck they allowing white people to teach black kids in Africa. Hmm. So one good sister, she got frustrated. She threw, she went to the teacher and threw the, all the uh, paper at them, black. I don't know if y'all seen it because I posted up on Facebook. But she mm -hmm. took a bunch of people. Yeah, they had. I said, "Wow!" I said, "I said, welcome to the club." Mm. That was my answer. Welcome to the club, because you allow these people to step in, and and you going you gonna allow them to educate you, educate you. How are you gonna educate? You gotta put these people in the back burner. You gonna let them stay? No, let them stay. You no, you black people teach black people. And that's is the reason. This is the reason why black people are over here so fucked up. Cause they let the they let the colonizers educate us. I don't believe that. Well, they've been so, educating us in in this country, going on five hundred years. <laughs> you, know, you know, everything that you think that you know, either directly or directly, came from them. No matter all this black power stuff, at the root of it, in the heart of it, it all came from crackers anyway. You know, what do a slave know about Kemet? You don't know about no Kemet. Cracker the one that first taught you about it. You learned about it and you built on it. That's what happened. Oh, how did they, how did they, how did they, how did they, how did they taught, how did they taught us about Kemet? They Kemi? taught it in their school. They taught that stuff in the they Negro. Never, they never taught black like history in school. Never. You don't have to take black history. They taught that Egyptian, it's, they, they taught that Egyptian, taught Egyptian history. in school. Never. I've they been, do it. They did it in, in, in their colleges and universities. They taught e e Egypt. I went to college, yes, sir. I ne they never taught me that. Only thing they taught. Well, me maybe you didn't. That's how they. That's the how they learned it. That's the only thing I knew from the time, the time I was born, the time now. That's the only thing I learned was Greek and Rome. What? What? Uh, what? Uh, what African? What person from Kemet came and taught us anything? Who? Who? Who was it? Well, nobody from Kemet taught you nothing because they all dead. You said that. <laughs> Books. Books. Right. Books from, from who? Books from, from you got books from that you got black people that went over there and studied that stuff. Right, right. After they was taught, after the cracker told them, this is this is where y'all come from. That's how it all started off. And you know this, and you know this for a fact. It's common sense. Oh, common the slave, sense. 
a slave was not taught, was not allowed to read and write for 300 years. Okay, so slave what? Was not even given religion for at least 200 years. Okay, so now we know. Now we know who built it. Now we then they know how people built that. So what's your point? So the point is, the bottom line is, your knowledge directly or indirectly at its root came from them and it's a reason why they allowed that information to come to you. But that's strange. It's the reason why. They that's control strange. They control Thomas the information Jefferson. coming to the Negro. That's it. That's strange. I didn't mean to cut you off, brother, but Thomas Jefferson, the most one of the most racist presidents you can know, they say Trump is racist. You can't get no racist than Thomas Jefferson. Mm -hmm. The one I think the one on the $20 bill, what I think his name is Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. That's that's his name? I guess. I, I don't know. Yeah. I'll keep it the one who owned slaves. He said the black man, he said black people was inferior. He he told um um that brother um, Benjamin ben, what's that Benacker? Forgot who yeah, Benjamin Benacker. Benacker, yeah, whatever his name is, the last yeah. name. But he he said they had an argument through the letters. Mm -hmm. He said, Okay, I'll make it I'll I'll show, I'll prove to you that we're not that we're not stupid or we're not inferred. Mm -hmm. He went and grabbed all those black people from the south and they credit what you what you now know as DC. Yeah. Washing monument. Oh, you think white people, you think white people built that? They don't know nothing about how you gonna say they don't they they don't know nothing about Kemet. They don't know nothing about this is what we know. This is what this is who we are. And and guess what, brother? He didn't come from Africa. So where did that knowledge come from? How did he know about all this stuff? Because we built that stuff. What do you mean we? We I'm talking about we as a people. No, no, we as a people didn't build nothing because if you built it, why you stop? Why you all of a sudden did you stop? We built why America. Why you still not building? Why you still not built? It, it don't, you know, when you get ants in a jar, you ever seen ants in a jar? Ants was building before I put them in a jar. If you put ants in a jar, they're going to do the same thing they was doing when they was free because that's what ants do. So if you was doing that, we was doing all this great stuff, then we should still be able to continue. But see, the problem is we didn't do that. We taking the credit for what somebody else done. And apparently, they only done it one time, and they done it ever since. Have you been in Africa? I don't need to go to Africa. I'm not even interested. Well, did you see? There's there's beautiful cities that was created and made by black people. I in understand. Africa? Now, I, I never said that dark skinned people was ignorant or nothing like that. But, but you said we, what you said. What they, you said why we stopped? We didn't. You you don't have nothing to do with that. You don't know that. Show, show me what you did. What are the nails and the hammers? What did, let me show, show me what you built. Show me your connection and your contribution to that. And now, you know, that's, that's a different, whole different story. And I'm, I'm glad for you. But there are 40 to 70 million dark-skinned people in this country, uh, the Nation of Islam calling lost found. I can guarantee you they don't have nothing to do with that. Individuals and little small part, just like I was saying, when it comes to this African thing, you do have people with roots, with people that actually came from the continent. There's no doubt about that. We know that. That's not the point that I argue. My point is, how did this population of dark-skinned people, these slaves, how did this population grow so fast in this short period of time? And you talking about, we built these boats, take months and months to build a boat. Then you talk about going to get these people way across this, this violent, the most violent ocean on the planet. You're going to go across there and grab these people and going to lose uh, 85% of the bill, almost, half the cargo or whatever, you're going to bring them back, you're going to lose 100 million, I don't know who kept up with the numbers, you're going to lose 100 million in the middle passage, so they claim, 100 million, that reminds me of these Jews, these Jews talk about 6 million of us died in the in the Holocaust, wait a minute, how, where, where y'all getting these numbers from, where these numbers, who can verify these numbers, that's a lot of, lot of people, it take a, that's a whole lot of time. Take a, take months and months to build a ship. Take months and months. Then on the ship itself, you got to have four to six months worth of water, supplies, the food. These people are pissing and urinating on it constantly. You got the threat of, of disease rampant on the boat. You know, there's a whole lot of stuff that's not being answered here. Just like that Holocaust. They don't want you to ask questions about this Holocaust. It's this, this thing. They count people that was not Jews as part of that number and it still don't, and, and still won't end up the six million when it's all said and done you know these are these stories when you really think about them the stories they something about them don't sound right and like i was telling brother craig 
When I was growing up, I always heard about this Native American stuff. Always did in my community. I always heard about this Native American brother and sister was telling me, you well, we part such as they would tell about the tribe that they belong to. And I would ignore it, you know, because we're getting taught we're African this and African that. But I'm getting taught by my people that we're native here. I'm getting from the cracker and his school system. Y'all African. Y'all African. Y'all African. So who should I believe? My people or this cracker who is known to be a liar and a deceiver? Well, There's a reason why he wants you to look towards the African continent because then you won't claim the land that's underneath you. And actually, you're Native American, regardless of whether you like it or not anyway, because the so-called Negro, the colored people, the African Americanists, we were created here by chattel slavery anyway. This is the only place we ever know. This is the only place that we ever be. And we're never, even if you did come from, your ancestors came from uh, Africa or even here, you're not Native American and you're not African. You're a whole brand new people that was created out of chattel slavery. That's why you don't have no specific look. People tell me, oh, you look like some African. Okay, well, we got 40 to 70 million. You show me, and I did my uh, latest video. I did a little simple Google check. Who do we look like? I put the, the point on all these different types of African people that's on that continent. Who the hell we look like? And if you look at them, all of them have a specific look for whatever that tribe and culture is. We don't have a specific look. We, Our skin color can be from the lightest of light all the way to the darkest of dark. Some of us have the kinky hair. Some of us, like my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, her hair was straight. And the, and the other the black girls was jealous of her. That's just the way she was. Her hair was straight all the way down her back. And she, she the, the, the sisters was mad at her. Always, that's, and she's supposed to be African-American. Her hair was straight. And her nose was not broad. Her nose was like, like thin. And her lips was thin. But we all supposed to have big noses and 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 and, uh, and kinky hair. That's not true. We can look like almost anybody. It, I done seen some black folks look like Chinese folks. Got the slanted eyes and stuff like that. I done seen like uh, like uh, what's that sister from Envo, Don Robinson. She got that little slant look thing. And they said, "Where that coming from?" She said, "Her grandmother, who who came from, I forgot where she said her mother from." But don't have nothing to do with China. It's just something that runs in her family. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. You have, you have black people that have slanted eyes or whatever. But now that's not as like like Down syndrome eyes like like Asian people do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's nothing new. Yeah, um, but what I'm saying is that we don't have a specific look, and the reason why we don't have a specific look because our origins, our origins, is mixed up. The people that was here, the people that was already here. And as you can see, as I present in Africa, they got various looks. And when the cracker went to get slain, he didn't give a damn what you look like. He just started grabbing folks. And then these folks was forced. A lot of them was enemies. They began to intermix with one another. And it, after hundreds of years, it resulted in, in us. And he named us just like he would name his new breed of dog, a German Shepherd or a Chihuahua. He named us, I think I'll call this new nigger a Negro. That's what he done. You not related to no Africans. You ain't related to no Native Americans. You a new breed of animal that he created, specifically created for the purpose of being a slave. And you still carry that damn slave mentality. That's why when people who, whose mind is liberated, y'all can't understand where they're coming from because your mind is still enslaved to this cracker. You still have this slave mentality. You can't look beyond. You can't, you can't comprehend a, a free man's thinking. So your mentality is real low. You you talk about uh, building a school and talking about building a nation. No, you need to be building and destroying the reality that put you in this condition to begin with. What's the sense of building a school or a business when you're still going to be in the same damn toilet? You want to clean the toilet up. And the only way that you can clean the toilet up, you got to get this man out of power. It'll be a benefit for him. It'll be a benefit for you. That's what a free man be thinking about getting the hell, changing the situation. Just like he changed our reality, all these African people and dark-skinned people around the earth, the way he changed the reality, when he showed up on the scene, they didn't know that was the end of things. That's the end That's the end of life, the way they thought, that the way they lived, that was going to be the end of it. Never, never to be seen again. Kemet would never come back. Timbuktu would never come back. 
all these different things, they dead and they gone. It's time to move and progress forward. When I mean what I'm talking about, when I say accept your own and be yourself, understand and accept the fact that's what you are. I'm a product of chattel slavery. Okay, I understand that. I know what my ancestors was. I never will be them. I can't go back. I don't even want to try to be like them. I never talked about integrating with the cracker. I never said that. Be who you are. Understand who you are and move so forward. Who are we then? then who That's are the problem. We? Now, you need to get together and you need to get together with people of, of yourself and come up with who and what you are. My suggestion is come under the title of soul because soul is a concept that was created by our ancestors. Right. I don't have to go back. I don't mean? have to go back five thousand years ago. I don't have to go back. What does soul mean? You know what soul means. Soul, mean? soul to me, it just means the essence, the essence of life. And, oh, oh. So, and That's what all is, that it means. It oh, takes you. It takes right you out, out of. Let me stop you right there. What is, what is the essence of life? What does that come from? So it comes. It's a, it's a religious term. It just means so that that from? which gives the body life. So that's and, all and that that it means. Maybe it did. Cool. Of it don't make it where it comes from. It I that's cool. If it came from Kemet, that's cool. So what? We use so, that. So, so, so you you contradicting yourself? I'm you not. I'm not contradicting you? myself. You you using terms that came from Africa? Okay, it came from Africa. Who cares? You said, but you said, be yourself. You said, that's right. Not we're not African. Our people, no, you still not being African. You taking a concept that came from a place. You you not you not trying to be them. You don't want to be them. You taking a concept like you would take from anywhere else, and you build on it and make it your own. You're not plagiarizing. You're not trying to copy. You're not trying to mimic. I'm gonna take this and make it my own. Just like Michael Jackson is Michael Jackson, but Michael Jackson was influenced. And if you look at Michael Jackson, he was influenced by Jackie uh, Jackie uh, what's his name? Wilson. He was influenced by James Brown. But when you see Michael Jackson do his thing, you said, man, that's Michael Jackson. You don't be tripping off Jackie Wilson or James Brown because he took, he learned and took concepts from Fred Astaire, Jackie Wilson, James Brown, and made it Michael Jackson. This is all that you have to do. You take things from these other places and make it your own. But see, y'all want to be copycats. Y'all want to mimic you want to put on you want to put on these uniforms and, and pretend I'm a I'm an African. What is but you, African? But you what is African? Me. You're confusing me. You 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 confused because you don't want to understand. No, no, it's very I'm, simple. I'm, I'm, You're not I'm, trying to understand. Okay. You, you you've been brainwashed in the black way, okay. not in the, the European way. And actually, the black way is the European way because the the, the term mm -hmm. or the label black came from them. African a, came from them. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something because I showed Craig earlier. Craig, you watching? Craig? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, Let me ask you this, this brother guy. Because you claim to be an African. I am African. You claim yes. to be an African, right? You claim to be an African. That means you are claiming some type of purity. So who are you basing your purity on? Since you're not a mulatto, you're not a mulatto or nothing like that. Not you, you're claiming to be this African person who is this. Since you're claiming to be African, what makes you pure? My DNA. My your, DNA, DNA your DNA is not pure. My DNA determines my pure, according to my it's DNA. It's not pure. But let me ask you this. Because you said that. Ask, no, answer my question. Mm -hmm. You are claiming to be an African. First of all, African is a, the, the, the term African is a general or relative I'm term. Gonna, I'm going to address that. I'm going to address that, what you said, because you. Who are you trying to be? That's you like, be all of them. That's like. All African. Africans. Whatever they look like, I, I'm them. That's Show like saying, Show it to me, man. That's like saying that you saying we okay, we live in this country called United States. Yeah. That's like saying, well, you asking me, yo God, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the United States. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say no, I'm from New York. Cause we both right, live right. In I want you to be States. specific, right? You know, I speak, I speak, I have people that I know straight from Africa, a lot of brothers and sisters. That I know, and because they're not in Africa, they're in the United States. I, I ask them, you know, "Where you from?" I'm right? listening. Right. I'm, I'm here. I might ask them, "Where you from?" And they'll say, "Oh, I'm from Africa." They don't turn around and tell me the country, unless I ask them what country in Africa they're from. So it's a big difference. If I was in Africa, in maybe in Kenya or whatever, 
I might say, you know, if I if I if I met somebody in camera, I'm, I I would well, number one, I would know what country I would know where they're from because I'll be in that country. Mm -hmm. so I was like, okay, I know that you're you 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 from you from in Kenya. I know you're Kenyan or whatever or or or, or Niger, Niger, Nigerian or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. But there's a it's a big difference being outside the con continent and being in the continent. It's like being outside the United States. If I went to South South America, if somebody asked me, "Hey, where you from?" I'm gonna say, "I'm from North America. I'm North American." Unless someone asks me, "Well, where in North America?" Right. Or United States? Where in United States? Oh, from New York. Yeah. It's a big difference. Like I said, when I speak to my brothers and sisters from Africa, that's the first thing they say. They said, "I'm African." I never, I never really had that experience. The people that I, I experience all the time because they out because they outside the con they outside the continent. You know what I'm saying? Because I won't I can't automatically assume that they're from Africa. They might come from uh, some other place or whatever. You know, but they say, "Oh, I'm African." Then I, I ask them, "Well, where in Africa?" Then they might say, "Or oh, like if you ask somebody right now, they say they from Jamaica." And somebody said, "Where are you from?" Or, oh, oh, "I'm Jamaica." But you might say, "Where in Jamaica?" Mm -hmm. It's the same concept, so mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. Of course, we're not gonna, we don't know where exactly we're from unless we take our DNA to tell exactly where we are from. But right now, we can say more, but the majority of us came from West Africa. We are, we, we really West African people because that's what the most of the slave trade okay. came what, from. What, 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 uh, what West African nation is claiming you? Um, Angola and Angola. and Sierra Leone. They, they, they claim, they claim us. Well, they claim me. I can't speak for oh. everybody. <laughs> they claim so, you. You might, you, you might, you, you, your ancestors might come from Ghana because, because, the, there, there are a lot of dark-skinned people in Ghana, like you saying. But even if there was a mixture of people from different countries doing the, the doing the breeding, we're still African people. You can't take that away from us. That's all I'm saying. You, you know. See, that's, see, that's but, a, but, but, but brother, can that's I show a relative you term. You cannot use. You cannot use that. Okay, let me let me show that's you. That's a relative something. term. Let me show you. Can't, you can't say that you are African. Okay, let me show you. That's a continent. Tell me, tell God, that's a continent. Be specific. Can't. Who on the hell are you? That's what I want to know. You tell me. I don't know. Well, if you don't know, then you you. If you don't know, that just shows your confusion because you need to know who are you trying to be. There are countless different kinds of people on that continent. You can't be all of them. Who or if I was gonna if I was in your position, I was claiming to be African, which I've never I've never got into that African stuff. My thing was just the liberation of our people. That's my that was my whole thing. I never was off into that African thing. But if I'm okay. gonna claim African, let me tell let me tell you this is how it's supposed to go. I they, somebody would tell me, Well, you claiming to be African, what are you? I said, I'm, I'm just this is just for an example. I said, I'm Zulu. Zulu. Not only am I gonna tell you I'm Zulu. But you're gonna see me be to, to begin to practice the Zulu customs. I'll learn how to speak the language, and my children, that's the only thing they're gonna be knowing is Zulu. And I'll be sending my children if to the motherland so they can be around the Zulu. I'm not gonna allow them to stay here with me in this damn toilet stool. I'm gonna send them to be Zulu. I'm going to be Zulu. So if you wanna pl be play the African role. Then be African. Don't sit around here and talk about I'm an African African. Then you go down to McDonald's and get a cheeseburger. Because they don't eat cheeseburgers. Well, they might do, they might now. But if you're gonna play that role, then be it. That's what I was saying in my video, talking to Sir Susan Seti and Dr. Umar Johnson. If y'all the Negroes gonna be African and you've been talking this crap for the last 10 years, then then be an example of it. I want to see what you, what the African look like. And these niggas cussing. Cussing and, 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 and swearing. I said, you didn't learn that from no African. Kiss my this and, 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 and suck my this and all that. You didn't that's learn that from no Zulu. You learned that from your slave master. Like that, Not all of us huh? sound like that. We, no. we're, you have to understand, my brother, we still do, we still doing, we, we still under a lot of therapy. I, I know, I know. And, but, and, and, and trying me, to pretend to be somebody else. Let me show you something, my brother, because, because you gonna need some more therapy. You, you're absolutely right. Let yeah. me tell you something, my brother, because you have said something earlier before you said one of your heroes was Elijah Muhammad at the age of 10 years old. So when you say hero, that means you have 
learned a lot from this man. Yeah. You also have the last video I saw. You had a mock a mock X pin yeah. on your Japanese costume. Right, Chinese. Okay. <laughs> so, which I'm totally I'm confused, but I'm gonna show you something, which is which you might be. I don't know if you're aware of this. Let me give me one second. I'm gonna share this. So we eat spaghetti. Do that mean that we Italians? No. Not we at all. Mexican food. Do that mean that we Mexican? So you mean, but I can't. I can't wear a karate gi. That's supposed to mean something, because I can. I'm right. You you drive. You know. You you you, you ride in a Mercedes Benz. Ain't no Africans make no Mercedes Benz. Now, is that you? Yeah, that's me. Now that so you have the Malcolm X pen. But that's I'm a hell of a picture. You could have got something better than that, couldn't you, bro? <laughs> I had to take a, I was trying to take a picture of <laughs> but I want to look at some, but this is not what I want to show you. Do you know what this is? Yeah. It says the final call. Yeah. And it's about your it's about your um your hero. It says by uh, the honorable Elijah Muhammad. And it says it's been if you go down here, it's been reprinted from Muhammad Speaks. October 17, 1969. Right. So I'm what read do they have to do with me? Now, I'm going to read you something. But your I mean, hero, what, do that, what do they have to do with me, though? I'm going to read you what your hero said, sir. It says that he was mistaken. What it says, the black man of the United, of the USA and Africa. Africa. Mm -hmm. And it says the two brothers, the black, the black man of America and the black man of Africa, must unite again. They never was together. Africa was the continent that we, using us, were mm -hmm. originally brought from. This is from him. He's saying this. I don't follow Elijah Muhammad. But you did. You I said I was what he said. Wrong. So what? <laughs> I don't follow that. I don't follow that. Okay, stuff. but he said the black. African. That's his problem. I don't, I don't follow him. Original. You are sadly mistaken, sir. Okay, let me hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> the black African, the uh, the original of uh, Aboriginal black man, the black people of the earth, are our real brothers. Mm -hmm. We are part of and belong to each other. Now, I'm gonna read you what Malcolm has said because you are a Malcolm X. Uh, supporter and i'm going to read you did you do you see that yeah okay these are these are the three things but i'm gonna read you the top he says this is malcolm x said he said no i don't see i don't see the malcolm x thing okay hold on hold on let me um let me do this give me one second i don't follow malcolm x either but what, what's, what? what this got to do with me well hold on hold on hold on but i'm gonna tell you what you <laughs> Wait, I don't you, follow Malcolm X. You don't follow Malcolm X. No. Oh. Well, let me read you what Malcolm X said. Hold on. I appreciate the 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 sacrifice. Well, hold up. And the work of Malcolm. Wait, not, wait, I don't, wait, I don't, wait, follow, I don't follow Malcolm X. But you got the pen of Malcolm. But hear me yeah. out. So what? This is what Malcolm X said. You 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 can't hate the roots of the tree and not hate the tree. Yeah. You cannot. You can't hate Africa and not hate yourself. Malcolm also said the real names of our people were destroyed during slavery. The last, the last name of my forefathers was taken from them when they were brought to America and made slaves. And then the name of the slave master was given, well, which, we which, which we refuse and we reject that name today and refuse it. I never acknowledge it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. He also said you have to realize that up to, up to until about 1959, Africa was dominated by the the, the colonial powers. Yeah. And by the colonial powers of Europe have complete control over Africa. They projected Africa always in a negative light. The jungles, savage, savages, cannibalism, cannibals, and nothing civilized. Now this is what Malcolm said. Another one, this is the last one. We are not Americans, we are Africans who happen to be in America. We, we were kidnapped and brought here again 
I'm brought, um, brought here against our will from Africa. Right. We did not land on Plymouth Rock. The rock landed on us. Now, knowing this, mm -hmm. you see that there's a pattern. You know, the, even the Constitution said they brought us over here. Uh, <laughs> see, this is the problem. That was 19, what, 1969, you say? Well, right. Malcolm wasn't here in 1969. He was assassinated. But uh, that was during that period of time. The problem here is those people acted upon what they knew. So this is a whole brand new ball game. This is a whole new brand, brand new it, ball game. You have, you have, because of the internet, you have information that we've never been exposed to before. It's always like this thing about the, the Negro being the, the native here. That's always been, because I remember hearing that as a child, but we don't control the media. Now you've got social media, all kinds of stuff is floating out here. And so Malcolm, as brilliant as he was, Malcolm would catch hell in 2018. You can believe that, buddy. These people ain't joking. They done, they do their little research, like uh, they got this little beef going on between Sarah Sumaseti and Brother Ben X of the Nation of Islam. Right. And I'm glad I'm not a Muslim. Matter of fact, I'm not a Muslim. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look. <laughs> They talked about Brother Ben and the Nation of Islam so bad. I'm not a Muslim, but hell, I felt like I was getting attacked. You know, because he was talking about, hey, he was talking about, uh, Sarah Susan said he was talking about y'all old Brooke, uh, Brooks Brothers suit wearing niggas with them uh, painless ass shoes. And, and I used to buy my shoes from painless. Oh, damn. <laughs> I bought my shoes from painless, right? And I did get my, I didn't get my suits from Brooks Brothers, but it, it was cheap. But you got to look at it this way. Uh, I did wear wear Payless shoes, but brothers supposed to buy those uh, shoes that the police wear. You know, not the not not no Payless shoes because you got to, you might have to make some moves. Mm -hmm. But he talked about the nation of Islam. Sarah Sudan said, and Young Pharaoh talked about them so bad. I'm like, woo! I'm glad I'm not a Muslim in 2018. These boys be giving me hell. See, <laughs> back in the day, I didn't have nobody like you or Craig or Sarah Sudan said it. Back in the day, when I was doing my thing at 18 years old. I, I, you know, I could, I could easily uh, defend the teachings easily, mm -hmm. but now you got this information age and people going all kinds of places and getting information. Y'all be whooping the hell out of brother. I have to quit the nation. I said that damn guy. I got that. I quit. Again, I'm tired of asking all these questions. I'm tired of fighting. I'm done, brother. You losing the faith. You damn right. I'm losing the faith. You damn right. These cats kicking my ass. And. Uh, the sad thing about it is that Brother Ben looked like he all by himself. He got all these cats after him. Where is Nuri Muhammad? Where is Wesley Muhammad? Your boy is in trouble. These guys, I mean, it's not like the information is not valid or, or close to. Y'all need to answer some of this stuff. And Brother Ben is only 23 years old, y'all. He's only 23 years old. He got he still got Similac on the mouth. He don't know nothing about the teachers. <laughs> you know. He tripping off. He tripping off uh, uh, of the good feeling he get when Minister Farrakhan speak. Everything he know basically probably came from a, a DVD Minister Farrakhan said. And he goes out and he gets all the clips of Minister Farrakhan, whatever. But see, Minister Farrakhan ain't been challenged either. You know, you can say anything you want to. Well, we didn't kill Malcolm and and the FBI. Uh, let me let me uh, let Sarah Sutton say it. Let me let us question you, sir. He ain't gonna do that. When when he gets questioned. They make sure whatever the question, whoever asks the question, is some baby stuff. He don't want to deal with no for real stuff. You know, me on my platform, bring it, because it only makes me better. Makes me better. If I'm wrong, brother guy, I'm just wrong. You you got me, man. I can't help it. I don't want to be wrong, but I would rather be right. Hey, I got, I got to submit to the truth. I got to take this out. I said, y'all, I was on a Google Hangout with brother guy in Hollywood. Brother kicked my ass real tough. I, I got to, I got to, I got to revoke all this stuff I said, and I'd be happy to do it. No big deal. No, no big deal. But we don't want any truth. We get locked up in these things that we believe in, and we roll. And Brother Ben is in trouble, man. Them guy, woo, man. They, <laughs> woo, they told, they tearing him up, and that Nation of Islam stuff, woo. Make me take my Malcolm pen off. 
<laughs> don't associate me with them guys. Don't come after me with that stuff. But Malcolm, but Malcolm was more pan African than the Muslim. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So remember, his father was 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 a yeah. He followed Malcolm. Oh, yeah. So why you why think they think they think kicked my father, Malcolm X and Khalid Muhammad off the nation? While they was oh, teaching yeah. people from Asia, yeah. they, was, they was teaching us that we from Africa. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why now Khalid Muhammad loved Malcolm. Mm -hmm. He always taught about Africa and the pyramids or whatever. And they kicked him out. You know, so 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 if you looked at there was a re, there was a video that that Louis Farrakhan has said, and he said that we were black people at one time with straight hair, and we was cursed with kinky hair. It yeah. sounded like a typical, what you call a European Negro, let's we'll say. You know some brother guy, I know the teachings too, and I never, I read all the books by Elijah Muhammad, and he didn't tell the story quite like that. You know, you have to read that story in Message to the Black Man. I don't remember reading that teaching and the way Minister Farrakhan talked about we was cursed with the kinky hair. Now he did say, because uh, we went into the jungle area, of course I know in Message to the Black Man, the reason why we mutated that way was, was because some of the brothers, it was a brother and his family and, and members, they decided to go into the jungle. Okay. Which somebody reminded me that there are no jungles in Africa. Yeah, there's no jungles in Africa, that's true. So I don't know how they done it. <laughs> so but, but, but like according to the teacher, said, that, was, that was considered negative. Yeah, I read, I read you when he used the word jungle, uh -huh. uh, cannibalism. That's considered negative. That's something that what white people would say. Right. right. But see, what I'm saying is that Malcolm know the knew the truth. Mm -hmm. He knew the truth. That's the reason why they he was kicked out the nation. Just like Khalid Muhammad knew the truth and he was kicked out. He wasn't teaching that we was from Asia crap. Uh -huh. We're not Asian people. You know what I'm saying? We 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 came straight from. When we ain't say go back to your roots. That's the only way we can understand um, this, uh, our, uh, our, the way of uh, getting back into our natural state, how Marcus Garvey would say. We got to get back to our natural state. That's, what, that's the reason we are struggling. Yes, we are struggling. But I would just say, brother, don't knock us. Don't knock your own people if they trying to want to be belong to something. Now, I'm going to give you a perfect example. I don't know if you saw Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the so guy, cool. the ape called Caesar. Mm -hmm. Remember the time he grew, up with the, he grew up with the humans and everything? Mm -hmm. And he didn't understand why he was reacting like an ape. He thought he was human. Because he'd been around humans. Been what, he, he'd been around white people so long. He didn't know how to act like a human. Mm. So what so what happened was they put him with they he was so out of control or they thought he was out of control just like how they do us when we don't want to be under the white man's or uh rulership they lock us up mm -hmm. with the other people that look like us same thing with planet of the apes he got locked up with the other apes mm -hmm. now these are actual apes right it came from came from Africa. That's because that's our animals. So when they saw Caesar, they thought he was he was trying to be something that he wasn't. Mm -hmm. And they and he they they were picking on him, beating him up, wanted to fight him. And he didn't want to fight because he figured he didn't want to be long. He was like another OJ. He mm -hmm. felt like he didn't want to be he, oh I don't I don't want to no no I'm white. I'm European. I'm I'm a human. Mm. I said, okay. But when he realized he had a wake up call, when he realized that, oh, sure, I am an ape, guess what? Not only he liberated the apes, he became the the, the, the head guy. He became the king. Right. He became more ape than the other apes because he, was, he got into his natural state. Mm -hmm. And this is what we need to do. We need to get back in our natural state. It's funny because when I was watching the movie, I heard black people saying, yo, that's us. That's us right there. That's what they trying to say. That's us. We got to get out. We got to be like that. We got to be in our natural state. And this is the reason why black people are doing all that because they don't know why they're doing what they're doing. So you, when you say, because I may, I may have misunderstood you, because I thought that you, when you said be yourself, 
I'm th- I'm th- thinking of being yourself like somebody like OJ. Who didn't want to be black? Because at one point he didn't want to be, he left his black beautiful wife to get a woman. Yeah. Like all his people were surrounded by white until he got locked up. Mm-hmm. When he got locked up, then he went back to black. Hmm. He started wearing African garments. He started, <laughs> he started getting black friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got that wake up call, just like the movie mm-hmm. Planet of the Apes. It's the same thing. Brother, let me say this. Mm-hmm. If you was in a situation, and if you had to go to escape from this country right now, where mm-hmm. would you go? If you had to go to any other country to escape from this country, where would you go Canada. to be safe? Canada. White people in Canada. You gonna be safe there? You, you think you could? You think you can uh, uh, find yourself? Uh, uh, I would say. Uh, you think you can uh, migrate or, 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 or coexist in Canada? You well, don't that's think what, that's what the slaves think done. The slaves done it. They was in the south and migrated. You, think, you, don't think Canada is, you don't have no racist people in Canada. Of course. So but also at the same to, time, you talking about why would you go to Canada? Why would you because it's the because it's the closest. <laughs> yeah, but why would you go to one plantation to another plantation? Well, I mean, you I don't know. People, if any time when you got Haitian people could get on a boat. And and ride their low ass all the way up to mm-hmm. here to be free from Haiti because of what Haiti is doing. You mean to tell me you can't do that? You can't get on a boat and and go to to a place where you could be more accepted and and, be, and blend. What you call? I would say blend in. Right, right. I want to go to a place where I can blend in. Well, that's hypothetical, and 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 I, I wouldn't. I, I'll have to deal with that if the situation actually arrived. I wouldn't. You know. Uh, that would be a desperate situation because a lot of these people they're making these moves on desperation. They're not. It's not like they want to. It's a choice. They just know if I stay here, uh, I might not be here tomorrow. You know, I got somebody out to kill me. So you know, you know, it's just like a man that's on the run. I got. I don't know where I'm going, but I got to get the hell out of here. So it's a, it's a, that's a desperation type move. So I don't. I don't know. You know, some people just stand fighting. Well, I guess I just be murdered because a lot of people can't leave. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. because you you might do you, you 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 a lot of these folks are gambling their lives because you know there's many people who have drowned in the water. They've been you know they they never made it. It's a lot of folks that try. They find bodies about it. Uh, they find bodies on the on the United States Mexican border all the time. People that didn't make it. You right. know, so I mean it's a desperation type thing. But right. uh, but what we want uh, what we was talking about though is. Is the this African thing? He was telling me what Malcolm said. Well, first of all, I don't follow Malcolm. I I admire Malcolm for what he done and what he stood for. Okay. As far as his philosophy, remember Malcolm was a follower of Elijah Muhammad. Right. Then he left Elijah Muhammad and, and started looking at this Orthodox Islam stuff. You know, I'm interested in in those things. I'm interested in his fight. He was a fighter. Okay. That's what I'm interested in, and his knowledge was limited to what they knew during that period of time. Just like they knew more than what Marcus Garvey knew. So now we are in the age of 2018 and things, you just got all kinds of stuff that's flying out here. And pretty soon it's gonna be challenging up where we're gonna have to get something, at least something more concrete than what's happening now. I thought that's what the debates was supposed to be about. You know, Sonetta and his debate, everybody arguing. Hey, they just make things more confusing. Yeah. I, I don't listen to those guys. I, I, I know that. Them. I mean, yeah. that's what I thought it was supposed yeah. to be about. Those guys, you said they debate. Right. You know, yeah. and what's the sense of debating? And so and so is going to still believe what they believe. And so and so still. So, man, what, what are you, what you need to debate on is, okay, you and I have our differences. What we need to first debate is, how are we going to work together? Just because I don't view things in the way that you view things. We still are in the same similar circumstance. And when the cracker come down, he's coming for you and me. So how, brother, let's 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 take five hour debate. How can we work together? I know you, I know you don't like me saying that I'm not African, but you gotta look over that. You gotta look over that. Not it's, it's, it's bigger fish to fry here. Because when that cracker shoots you in the head, he ain't gonna ask you, are you Native American or African? Well, I'm African. Okay, I'm gonna shoot them in the head. You Native <laughs> American, okay, you can stay. They don't ask you that. They see a nigga. 
That's what they see. They don't give a damn whether you believe in the round earth or the flat earth. They don't give a damn. You're going to be flat laying on the ground. That's the bottom line. So I'm more interested in those things, and I really don't like to argue and debate over them because they really don't mean nothing when it comes to freeing yourself from an oppressor. That's some stuff we can argue and debate about after you get free. And believe me, if I got that sister I'm chasing right now, we get free, I ain't going to be interested in none of that stuff. Uh, let me say this. Craig, are you listening? You know, Craig will go to sleep on you, man. Craig. <laughs> Yo, I'm still here. I'm just sitting back, man. Oh, okay. No, I mean, you can jump in whenever you need to, brother. We'd like to hear your, your views, too. I mean, really, to, at the end of the day, man, I'm just sitting back absorbing, you know, just the wisdom and stuff because, yeah. you know, like at the end of the day, like my brother also said, like it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, right now we're, we're all in similar conditions. We have right. a common enemy. Right. We have a common condition that we need to find some type of solution to. Right. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Yes, sir. And if you have leadership and you have people that you follow and listening to, if they're not talking about unification, you need to leave them alone. Because one person, one person is not going to be able to solve this problem. One individual, one divine organization is not enough to solve this problem. It takes it takes a whole lot of mind to deal with this situation. There are people who are very smart, but they won't allow themselves to think because they're allowing other people to think for them. That's not good. Yes, sir. You should have an idea of what you want for yourself. That's why when they kill the leader, that's the end. You don't want to put yourself in that position. When your leader is dead, that's the end of the movement because the people are still alive. You don't you don't want that. Right, right. You want to put you want to put everybody you want to put you want to put everybody in a, a mindset. If something happened to Dr. Umar Johnson, if something happened to Farrakhan, whoever your leadership is, the movement still goes on. One monkey shouldn't stop a show. Still should even the babies when they get of age should know what to do. Nothing should stop the the forward progress. Our problem is our children don't know what to do, just like the civil rights movement. When Dr. King was murdered, somebody should have been able to, 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 to jump on the horse and keep galloping. But it didn't. They killed Malcolm. They killed Malcolm. That was the end. Somebody should have went to the to the to the to the United Nations. They didn't. When Malcolm was killed, that was the end of it all. You don't want to put yourself in that position. Even even the United States is not like that. Something happened to Trump. That boy, the boy next in line, yeah, I said boy, because they call us boy. The boy next in line, he steps up. And then if something happened to him, they got somebody else that's going to step up and keep the stuff going. That's what we need to do. In our situation, if something happened to Reverend Mudflap, that's the end of the church. That's the end of it. You don't want to be like that. I, I agree. I agree. And, you know, and, and the most important thing is we have to recognize, get over these differences. We get hooked up on uh, you're a Christian and you're a Muslim. You don't, I'm not looking for no father. I'm not looking for no slave. I want us to get up out from under oppression. We can argue all this stuff in a university or somewhere once you get liberated and free. All this arguing and wasting energy. You could be talking. We got, look, brother God, we got 40 to 70 million people that we need to contact and get, get on board. You know what I'm saying? We wasted our time debating with one another. We should be in the streets getting our people. That's yeah. where your that's real that's where the real work needs to be. Yeah, but the thing Not, is the thing is, my brother, I, yeah. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. But you can't we all have a common goal, but if you got all these di differences that's in the way, people would like Omar Omar Johnson said one thing. He said pit race first. And a lot of the times we don't do that. We always put in religion. Yeah. And other things in a way, instead of saying our race should be our religion. Mm -hmm. So if I see you, brother, I should say, okay, he's a, he's a black man like me. Mm -hmm. So we're going to work together. Just like if you look at yellow people. Yeah. As long as they're Asian or as long as they're Chinese, they're going to work together. The money stays within them. The, mm -hmm. the dollar circulates a hundred times before it leaves the race. 
-hmm. You need to start doing that. But the thing is, is that number one, we have to nationalize ourselves. When I when I go to the African parade in Harlem, mm -hmm. I see the Garvey flag, the Pan African flag, and to me, that's the most beautiful thing because everybody's on one big page. To me, that's a movement. Once we understand that now, then we can move forward. But when we start talking about I'm a Christian, like you said, I'm a Muslim, and I can't do this because my faith, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then it throws everything off. Mm -hmm. That's why I have a problem. That's the reason why we can't move forward. Mm -hmm. And brother, I'm not trying to debate you. I'm never going to do. It. I just want to clear things. Yeah, where that we got to we got to go with the with the resources that I want to be. I want to connect to the resources. When we say, and I was telling Brother Craig, we got to be careful what we say, that we was here first, because then the, the white man won't owe us nothing. And I, But even though you was right, one thing, because I saw a video a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I watch your videos too, brother. I, I've been, you, you've been, I've been really, I, trust me, me and Craig, we've been watching your video for a long time. Yeah. You said a thief don't owe. Right. I remember you said that, because you was talking about the white man own, the thief don't own, but, the thing is, is that we need somebody that's going to push that bill. Remember, the reparation is still on the Congress desk as we speak. Yeah. But, but, you, but like you said, no one ever came up before and said, Malcolm tried to do it. Yeah. Got assassinated. Yeah. Because, it was, because when it comes down to the government, it was business. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. To the nation of Islam, it was personal. Right. Right? Dr. King tried to do it. Mm -hmm. Remember they went to Washington? Mm -hmm. Washington, the March of Washington, would push reparation. Mm -hmm. This is what we're fighting for. Mm -hmm. Me and Craig, this is what we this is the whole thing. So we have to say that no, you you kidnapped us. Because by you saying that we was already over here, the white man don't have to, oh well y'all over here. Then y'all volunteered. Well that's not that's not necessarily true either, well, brother. Well, because see it's a still it's still a crime against humanity regardless whether you came from a boat or you was already here it's a crime against humanity what these damn people done to us, done to our ancestors and the situation they put us in it's still a crime against humanity and uh the japanese or whatever they just gave them reparations or whatever for being in, in these internment camps during world war ii they did they, they just gave reparations to some, Jewish, some people Jewish, over in south america white jews and whatever yeah but uh it's still a crime against against humanity, and no matter whether we came on a boat or we was already here, it's still the same thing. You, you still have been, you still a victim of a crime. Right, but what I'm saying so is that so it doesn't make no difference. But what I'm saying is that I'm this is what I'm hearing from white people now. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying that these these so-called extremist Republicans, these white European Republicans, that's what they're saying now. That most of us wasn't enslaved. We volunteered to to work for free and stuff like that. So I'm just saying. No, I'm what, what is where's the evidence of them? Of, of they said they volunteered at work. Give me that. I'm gonna say it because this is what I heard in a podcast. <laughs> and I heard a podcast. They said this. So <laughs> I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you, but just I'm just saying we gotta be careful what we say because they will use that and turn around and say, well, we don't owe you nothing. Then. And they can they can say, well, just, but as long as we keep saying you kidnapped us. Mm -hmm. We did not want to come here. You kidnapped us. Then they, they we go make them feel guilty. We gotta make them feel. We gotta continue making them feel guilty. How are you going to make a, a, a murderer feel guilty? You know how are you gonna make a thief? You know I was locked up with people like that. I was I was locked up with thieves and rapists and pedophiles. I don't. How do you make them feel guilty? I never. Out of all of them that I was around, I never seen none of them. It's very few of them had any remorse. You know, they was a robber. They was a pedophile. It was a cracker in there. He had, uh, he molested his niece. And don't you know his people had the nerve because to, to, to bring the niece to come visit that thing. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is their damn problem? And and she was shivering and, and, and scared of him and everything. I said, why are they bringing this child here? She, you know, she was a child. And he molested this this young girl. Hmm. They bringing her to visit. Well, that's still that's still her her uncle. You was a and them doctors was like, how you the hell you gonna allow this child to come in here and see this this damn pedophile? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I know you told him. And he and the thing about it, he didn't want to tell us. He didn't want to. You know, most everybody told tell everybody why you in there, right? 
When people don't want to tell you why they're in there, chances are they're a pedophile. That's what they done. And he, it's none of your business, it's private. Oh, it turned out he's a damn person. I said, man, ain't nothing in this place private. Hell, I found out what people was doing upstairs. I don't never go upstairs. But you know, especially when Negroes is around, they gossip and next thing you know, you know everybody did. And we found out he was a damn pedophile. Well, the but thing is, I, 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 that's true. But the thing is, you, you, you got some white people, they are, they are tired of hearing that. They are tired of hearing slavery. They're tired of seeing the movies. So at some point, they're going to end up giving up. Let me, I'm going to say this. They was the ones who, who helped push the, the abolish slavery. Mm -hmm. They have, they, because black people were carrying up their shit, you know what I'm saying, with the uprising. They were just, they were, white people were getting killed. And there's a lot of stories about that during, during, during slavery. You had the Nat Turner, but he wasn't the only black man was doing that. You know, you had a lot of uprisings. Plantation would be burned down, especially in Jamaica and mm -hmm. some parts in Haiti. So at some point, when you start ruining their money, that's when they're going to be like, okay, we need to give them, give them whatever they want. I get, I'm going to give you a perfect example. I was watching, uh, I was watching this uh, this uh, documentary with the KKK. This white man, this KKK, most you, you can't get no racist more racist than the KKK. He said, "I think we should just give black people what they want. Mm -hmm. Give them their own state." Mm -hmm. Now, didn't Malcolm said that? Didn't Malcolm said, "Let's have to give us our own state." And here's a white man said the same thing. He said, "Give them their own state. We'll give them whatever they need." So we don't have to mix race with them. Mm -hmm. So they are tired. They get, they've been, they get word, I see it. So at some point they have to say, okay, we give up, give them reparations to give us, so, so they can leave us alone. Cause they got everything. Mm -hmm. They got everything. Some of us, some white people don't want them in, 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 in their neighborhood. They don't want us in their neighborhood. So. We, we try to fight, we, we letting white people know, look, I want a better life too, but I don't have no resources. But with the real resources, are, I have to, I want to live in a nice neighborhood too. But you, you, got, you got the best of everything. We want, we want nice shit too. So that's what I'm saying, we, we are fighting for that. Yes, Africa got the, a lot of resources. The cell phone that works is from Africa. The, the minerals, the mineral that make the cell phone work. Yeah. I want to get, I want that. This is the reason why we got to get connected to Africa. You know what I'm saying? We got to do it because all the, everybody else is doing it that don't look like and getting rich and getting wealthy. And it's not fair that we got to sit back and we got to just get the crumbs and we got to be, we don't want to be African. We got to, we got, we got to be, because the uh, Israelites, the stupid ass Israelites, not all of them, because some of them do embrace Africa, but some of them don't. And they say, oh, well, you know, Africa's enslaved us and, and, and they and they brought us over here. And I said, like, come on, this is stupid. Why would you want to uh, go get away from the, the, a place where they got all that wealth? That's what I want. I don't care about, to be honest with you, brother, I don't care about nothing else. Religion, I want to be connected to the wealth. This is our mind. We got. We got to get next. We got to get black capital. Well, That's you know, what I'm. Doing. I'll tell you this. See, me. I don't want to be like my oppressor. And when I hear people talk about the resources of, of Africa, you know, you living. You you you're living a detrimental way of life right now. You want to continue. You want to live like the oppressor. You know. You want to drive these cars and have these cell phones. The cell phone, these cell phones and these cars and the life that we're living is poisoning this planet. The more cars, the more cell phones, the more these this technology, this technology is good while you are while it is in use. But what happens to all these rubber tires? What happens to all these the, 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 these poisonous metals that they put in these cell phones where you don't have no use for them? Where are they going? They're going into these landfills and going to these places. Where, they, where these poisons end up in the fresh water pool, giving, giving your, giving uh, uh, putting these poisons into your water system, 
putting poisons into the air. This lifestyle period is not going to work. You know, we want to continue to live like the way our oppressor has us living. And the, remember these resources that you're talking about, they, they will be here during our lifetime, but eventually they will run out. Africa is the, is the, is the lag, it's the end. Once you go over there and rape and pillage and take all of everything out the ground, that's the end. Then what y'all gonna do? See, that's the problem. You, Africa should be the, should be the paradise. But you got folks over there digging and, and doing their thing. Pretty soon it's gonna be just like Europe and all the other places that they done destroyed. Then what you gonna do? And in the meantime, as you're using these things, like I said, people don't understand. Fresh water is getting low. Your air, you know, the reason why we had so much air because for me of years there was no cars and trucks and all these factories. But your air is starting to fade out too. So what's the sense of having all these resources and you can't breathe? What's the sense of, what's the sense of having all these resources and you can't drink? You well, can't they, drink any water. They're, 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 well, they're, but that's the whole point of technology it is to make this into food things. We know we used to, they, they have uh, what you call hybrid cars now. Yeah. Where, where that they don't use as much gas or they don't use no gas at all. You yeah. know, everything's just a battery now. And so we well, all- That's food. messed up though. Because that battery, that battery goes dead, it's, it's still gonna go to the dump. You no, no, but it's recycled. You got no fuels in the air. You got no fuels in the air. But you got to do something with that battery once it get old. But it, but but it, but the batteries they do recycle batteries. Yeah, they do. Recycle. They do, but many of them end up in the in the, in the garbage dump. But that's true too. What about your cell phone? Got batteries in it. Yeah. All these little toys and trinkets that and stuff that you got. I'm not just talking about car batteries, because a lot of times car batteries are you know recycled. But the batteries in your phone and toy and other little stuff that we use. You know where are these batteries going? Most people throw them in the trash. That stuff gonna end up in the water table. I know, and that's what we. we but we're, like I said, we're advanced people, and I think this is what this is the problem that I have. We, but while we under this, this under this world called under oppression, we under oppression because we can't. We have so much ideas. We have so much ideas to improve the planet, and we can't use utilize because some of us. Or in jail, we locked up. Or, or if we, we have, if we come up with an idea, it's been taken away from our person. Yeah. So we can't really. We got to be careful of telling our ideas to people because we want to take our ideas and we want to be wealthy off too. I don't see this. When I was growing up, I was a, I was a science buff, and in those magazines. Don't you know they already have the electric the, the electric car that can actually hover and fly? It don't need have no wheels and it's like it's like a, a, a jet. Right. They had that back in the day when I was a little boy. Mm. The prototype. But the oil companies and these big boys, these big companies, hinder that type of development. That's true. Because I guarantee you you can run a car off water. That's run true. Tap water. I bet you can. Yeah. They already but, have that. Yeah, they already have it. Right. But they but the oil companies like, well, we're gonna do with all this oil. We got all this oil. That's true. You know, stuff like that. Silly stuff like that. Man, come right. on. And like I tell Caucasian people, you should be happy that Western civilization is destroyed, just like I am. Because uh it's detrimental to both of us. Mm -hmm. It's poison, just like you was talking about what I'm bringing is poison. You know, it, it's, 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 it's poison. <laughs> You know, I don't forget, brother. You caught me stuff for it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just glad that we cleared things up. You know, I'm glad yeah. you got back on it. And that's all that it takes. Some of these brothers, instead of arguing and debating, why don't you talk to me mm -hmm. instead of debating? I'm not here to debate. We are going to talk to one another. I'm not here to debate. Mm -hmm. I want to debate the crack and any other enemy. Them the ones that I want. <laughs> but you know, I went on this Jewish uh, show. This guy, he's a Jew or whatever. And I thought I was gonna get all this, you know, all this, uh, and I went by myself. I ain't scared of your ass. <laughs> and uh, they was cool. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you might not get the, you might not get the, uh, 
the resistance you think that you're going to get. And they want me back. Oh, wow. And the, ori and the original reason why they wanted me on their show was because I said that the white man changed time. What you mean by that? The white man changed time. <laughs> and then he wanted to argue with me about, because uh, at the time I was giving money away. How can you give money away and you tell me you oppressed? Mm. So that's the reason why they really wanted me on the show. Oh, but okay. uh, but uh, I, I went on the show and we basically discussed issues. I didn't really debate with them. And mm. uh, they, you know, I go and make my little comments on their videos or whatever, make my presence known. And you know, we, we pretty, you know, they cool, cool people. Mm. But like I said, it's about respect. It's about respect. I'm not going to go around calling people crackers and, and you know, only when I'm spe specifically talking about certain people. Like if I'm talking about Thomas Jefferson, yeah, that cracker, that racist. Yeah, in his case, yeah, you damn skippy. But if I don't know you, I'm going to give you the benefit of a doubt till you show me different. And hell yeah, you're a pink, racist, cracker, pecklewood too. Yes, you damn right. No more respect for your ass. You don't show me your color. Ain't no doubt about that. I'm with Sarah Rossu and say, you damn pecklewood. Yeah, you're right. So, you know, but I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt for a few minutes. Let me see where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put everybody in the same category. And the white man is not gonna see technically, and I, I understand where people coming from when they talk about the white man. But so you have to understand this, and I wish people would, I mean, clear me up. If I'm in error, please show me. But for as I know, there are about 70 different type of white people. Mm -hmm. 70 type of white people. Uh, they didn't directly participate in, the, in slavery. Of course, they benefited, but also everybody around the world benefited from chattel slavery. Everybody, including an African nation, they benefited from the slave trade, but they was not actually involved. My enemy is this American bastard, because I know he was involved in it. You know, all these other, that's why I can't just say the white man, I'm gonna tell you, no, this American cracker, he did. <laughs> you know, they had slavery in Britain or whatever, that's not my concern. I was not a, my people was not a slave in Britain or anywhere else on this planet. I'm talking about the American Pecklewood cracker right here. Him, these suckers. And the ones that smile on your face and stab you in the back, the ones that pretend that they like you in, in, in America. I said, how can racism exist? Because they, they agree that racism is still alive and well. Racism cannot exist unless there's a power to back it up. Mm -hmm. So how can all of you guys talk about, I'm not a racist, I'm not a racist, but racism still exists and has power. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to be giving it some damn power. Right. Right. And then every time you turn around, they be talking, they forgot the mic was still on and you'll catch them. Mm -hmm. God damn, nigga, it's this and, oh, see? <laughs> but that's how they are anyway. Anybody with common sense know that they are talking behind your back. That's the why we catching the hell that we catch because it's impossible if all of them are, are, are good, good people. How the hell can we continue to catch the, the hell that we're catching due to racism? But that's what that's what I like about what Sister Soldier says when uh, she was yeah. on Donahue. And she said she was like, Donahue was like, oh, you know, there, you, there's no good white people. And she was like, well, where they at? Show me yeah. one good white people. Show me any white good white people that you're talking about. Show me one. You know, and because you can't be talking about all these white, good white people, and we still going through hell. Right. Black people are still getting gunned down. Right. You know, um, and 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 we still been, you know, incarcerated like in hundreds. Yeah. So, where are these good white people? At? <laughs> look what look. I mean, look at what how they supported George Zimmerman. They made that do. Mm. That dude, they raised what a half a million dollars for his defense. Yep. And this cracker in in St. Louis in Ferguson. They made him a millionaire. Mm, wow. He shot, I forgot, uh, uh, what's his name? Michael, Michael Brown. Yeah. He shot Michael Brown and made him a millionaire. Yeah. You're going to make the killers of dark skinned people millionaires. Wow. I'm like, wow. Yeah, right. But that goes to show you what you're dealing with in this country. Mm -hmm. they giving their money to these people and happy that they shot down a black person in the street. Making these people millionaires. they getting paid. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So what are good white folks at that's 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 countering them? Where they at? Where their voices at? I don't see them. You see a few of them in, you know, like when they was marching for Trayvon Martin and when they was rioting in uh in Ferguson, you seen a little handful. Mm -hmm. But where are the good white folks at? 
Where they at? I give you your credit. I can't give you no credit if I don't see you, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't see you. I don't see you. But for the ones that's there, I got to give them their problem because you got Negroes that's not there. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them. <laughs> but see, I don't get involved in stuff like that anyway because those family, they take that money and go to Disneyland. No, no, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna use me. That's uh, true. And, and you know, they kill Michael because I think that's what Michael Brown's uh, family didn't get nothing out the deal. So they all, I think they got upset. I think it was Michael Brown's family, or was it? Yeah, they didn't get no money. They was trying to sue, but they didn't get nothing. They was all upset and mad and angry because they want to go to Disneyland too. Uh -huh. <laughs> these crackers getting tired of paying these niggas money. Yeah, they don't get old. They like, man, give me these niggas money, you know. And I can guarantee you, the 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 the, the deceased family member, they didn't give a damn about them anyway. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you, they ain't caring about that person. But now they got these high powered lawyers trying to get paid. Oh, he was the most beautiful person in the world. I, I just love him. He'll be missed by many. How how much money is that worth? <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, you ain't gonna get it's, me. It's, it's it's a side oh, I know who that sister was. The, the, the reason why I stopped getting involved in that in that stuff, her name was Tawana Brawl. Mm. She was the one. She was the one that said that, that uh, district attorney uh, urinated on her and, and, and took a dump on her. Yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. Then right. the information started coming to the surface. It was a damn outright hoax. It was a damn lie. Oh, uh, I remember the that. Tom was on it. Public Enemy was on it. Al Sharpton was leading the charge. Then this information showed up. See, the thing about being a cracker is you do so much dirt when you when you when you when somebody accuses you of something, it's hard not to believe it because you've done so much damn dirt. Right, that's true. But that's your fault, white boy. <laughs> you be so damn dirty all the time. Mm -hmm. But 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 it, it came out that it was a, it was a hoax and it was a lot. That Tawana Brawley crap. That was her name, Tawana that's Brawley. Brawley. And I'm yeah. like, I never. I never get involved in no stuff like that again. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, everybody was, Tawana brought it, them crackers did that to our sister and blah, 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 bleh. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, it turned out to be a lot. I'm like, uh-uh, oh, oh. you ain't gonna get me on that no more. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, not gonna get me. Uh, I don't, you know, I feel sorry for Trayvon. Don't you know, brother? I still, you know, Trayvon is not my son. I still feel, you know, I have feelings for what happened to that. Cause I can imagine what, what happened to that young boy and this, bastard shot him in the heart because he was getting his ass kicked he should have been messing with that boy to begin with and he was still a boy he was 17 years old sure he was a young kid yeah a young child you shouldn't have been messing with him hell he was going to the store to buy skittles and a tea mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying not a, beer, not a beer and some weed he was going to the store to get him some tea and enjoy himself you know being with his dad you know white people are yeah even when they did the autopsy, they said, oh, he has some weed in his system. Like, that should justify the reason, that should justify his, like, he deserved to die. Because right. he, got Cause he had some weed on. You know, and I, and I said, well, I would, you know, and this is, a, yeah, and I showed you how evil white people are, how they would have put that out there. Yeah. Like, they, oh, well, well, he had weed in his system. Like, so what if he did? That one doesn't, you know, uh, 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 get, uh, it doesn't take, uh, door gentleman off the hook? Right, it don't. And that, that sucker should have been convicted. Actually, he should have been, actually somebody should have shot his ass a long time ago. I'm still, waiting. I'm still waiting for him, because like I said, I would do it. I'll kill him. Yeah. If I have an opportunity, I'll kill his ass. i just stay in the cut. Okay, Joy. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Joy. If it was a gun carrying state, I'll, and I said, oh, I stole my ground. You know? Yeah. I'll do the same thing. You know, how bold he was, was um, trying to auction off the gun that he yeah. killed Trayvon? Like, wow. Oh, that was just unbelievable. I thought that was a hoax at first. Like, I, I just couldn't believe that he would actually do that. It was crazy. How could, I'm thinking about his father. How can yo, okay, okay, you let the man slide. Okay, he got off. But then this sucker come on, talk about, I'm gonna auction the gun off that killed my son. Not see you don't uh, you don't really you really ask you don't ask for it now, dude. Right. You don't ask for it. That's but his father, shit. his father and, and relatives ain't nobody. You know, they, I guess that I guess Disneyland is a hell of a place to go to, man. You just get woo Mickey Mouse. Hey, how you doing, Trayvon Martin, Daddy? <laughs> Must be a hell of a thing to go to Disneyland. You know, I went to Disneyland one time, but I was lost. 
I, I was driving a truck and went down there. I was in Florida, the one in Florida, and got lost. and ended up down by Disneyland. That's the that's the closest I ever came to Disneyland. It must be a hell of a place. <laughs> Disneyland, Disneyland versus my son. I oh, know somebody got to pay, y'all. You know, I, I can't. I just can't. I know what me. I just especially if that's your only son. That that would that would really money. Ain't oh, no man. money can replace oh. that. Ain't no money can replace that. No. They can give me all the money in the world. I'm still gonna fight. Uh -uh. They're they gonna hear from me. They're gonna hear from me sooner or later. I'll speak in the cut. You know, I'm not a person that that's patient. Might be ten years from now. I see. I, don't know, but see, I think that's in the, see. I think that's in the contract. Uh huh. Where that where that they give you a certain amount of money, but you can't you can't bring it up no more. You can't talk about uh -huh. it anymore. And I yeah. think that's, that's the reason why they don't you don't hear about it no more. Once they get paid, that's it. You don't hear about it. Just because there's no way in hell. Look what happened to Tamir Rice. The 12-year-old yeah. boy got killed by two two police officers. Or, yeah. or, or John Crawford, who was just yeah. in, in um Walmart playing with a toy gun and they shot him. Mm -hmm. And you know, you hear about these horrible stories about they, they kill these young brothers and there's no action. There's no um th there's no um there's no consequences. I mean right. everybody once they get that money, you don't. That's it. That's it. Because it's in the contract. Mm -hmm. I'm going to break the contract. I'm going to break. I you. I know that's right. What, what they can, what can, what can they do? I can't wait with that. I'm sorry, because there's no way how I can live through that. I can't live with myself like that. I'm sorry. Right. It's What's just, that, it, uh, uh, Eric Garner's. I think. I think Eric Garner's family got paid, but his daughter. Yeah, they got paid. Yeah. yeah, they got paid. But she died, but she died mysteriously. You know, she starts speaking out, and all of a sudden. Will she catch asthma attack and have a heart attack? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah, it's, you're right about that. You know, they got, you know, these crackers is real slick. You know, they can they can kill you with certain uh radioactive isotopes and stuff. Just put it to you, put it on your skin, next thing you know, you're dead. That's what I think they did with Khalid Muhammad. I think they, I think yeah. he was murdered. Khalid Muhammad was murdered. You know, no, they can they can they can put chemicals on your body. There's chemicals. If you touch it in a few minutes, you're dead. You you'll be a dead man just by touching it. Matter of fact, fluoride that you that people put in the water and you use for your teeth, pure fluoride. If you touch that with your hand, you, you're a dead man. That's true. If it's pure, yeah, that's true. It's pure. You're a dead man. Yep. It's chemicals and things that they can use can just put out and puff it out in the air, or whatever. You're a dead like man. Anthrax and all that shit. Yeah, all kinds of stuff, man. He's look he's, at him. Look at the people doing the 9-11 with the uh with the um Abestus. When they was yeah. breathing all that stuff, all those people was dead and gone. Mm. When they was trying to look for them survivors in, in yeah. the 9-11, doing the um the war right. training, right. all those all those police officers, they all dead. Mm. The dogs and all they all dead. <laughs> because they're bringing all that stuff in. <laughs> they didn't even wear no mask or nothing. Oh sh you can't you can't go into a situation like that and not, not wear no kind of mask. You you asking for it. Because you got all kinds of stuff flying around. Yeah, all kinds exactly. Of, you know, any, anything is there. But that World Trade was built in the '60s. Uh huh. That World okay. Trade was built in the '60s. So you know, they, you can imagine all types of stuff would call, you know, built up in that in that in that building over time like that. So when it collapsed, all that dust and stuff and asbestos, yeah, it would, yeah, okay, you like that. Because I mean, you can you you mess. I mean, especially it's according to how sensitive you are. But if you are in an ordinary house messing with around, around with a lot of dust, you it, that that dust will mess you up. Look at the moles. People, I, it was on the news how they yeah, mold, right, mold. Are, are, are number one killers. Let you get lead poison and all that. Yeah. So it's 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 a dangerous thing. Like you said, you know they can kill you with with, with any little thing now. Yeah. Any little thing, you can't even drink the water now. And, and like you say, we was talking about French Michigan, you can't even drink the water over there. Can't even drink the water. And that was done purposely, by the way. Uh-huh. It was. That was done purposely, by the way. And we are we are to, 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 to like save money and not go through some trouble or whatever, basically. But it's a bunch of niggas that was gonna be affected. They didn't give a damn. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we are at war. This yeah. is war. And you know what the funny thing? And I love what Malcolm has said. Mm-hmm. And my mother has said, we were, me and my mother was talking one time, and she said, we need to stop associating our oppressed with other people who's been over. We need to stop sharing our oppression with everybody else, mm -hmm. like like Puerto Ricans or, or mm -hmm. Latinos. Mm -hmm. They have their own issues. Yeah. 
I'm sick and tired of black and brown people. What do you mean black and brown people? I don't want to associate my oppression. I, when I get reparation, I don't want them to get it. Mm -hmm. That's me. Call me whatever you want. Whatever I get, whatever my people get should be only for my people. Mm -hmm. I tell people, whatever you struggling, you handle it just like we for. You do your own million man, man march, uh -huh. a million man Latino march or whatever, whatever, whatever you call it. Right. But don't come over there and bad wagon on our shit. And that's this is where the reason why the civil rights didn't work. Mm -hmm. Because everybody started getting on it. Mm -hmm. White women, even white women are now talking about, oh, they violated my civil rights. You, you wasn't there with us. Right. My people was out there fighting. Yeah. My mother was around that time doing the civil rights. Mm -hmm. There was no white women coming there saying, I'm going to fight with y'all. No, 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 no. We need to stop doing it. We need to stop allowing people to bad wagon on our, on our struggle and our hard work. And that's uh, that's another reason I'm down for. Let me tell you something, Tully. I, mm -hmm. wanna be, I want our people to be as selfish <laughs> as fucking as possible. We mm -hmm. need to be a real selfish race mm -hmm. in order to get shit done. Mm -hmm. We need to stop feeling sorry from brown people, yellow people who don't really give a fuck about us. Mm -hmm. Let's be realistic. Mm -hmm. Malcolm X said one thing, he was had, had a debate. He has said something. I'm so glad he said that. He was so ahead of his time, brother. Mm -hmm. And even Craig will vouch for me. This brother, Malcolm X, was so he said, and you and you and you probably seen this video when the guy said, "Oh, well, what about what about Puerto Ricans?" What did Malcolm say, Tali? Remember that? I don't know if you see, remember that. I forgot who was he was he was debating somebody. He I said, don't I don't he know. said, he said, oh. But Puerto Ricans is not the one getting lynched. Mm -hmm. He said, our people getting lynched. Mm -hmm. He said, the Puerto Ricans are not there getting lynched and, and being He said, our people are dying. Not no fucking Puerto Ricans. And mm -hmm. I was so glad. I said, wow. He said this in the, in the, in the, in the, early, in the early 60s. Mm -hmm. And we still, when we talk about issues, oh, black, black and brown people. What do you mean black? No, 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 no. We have our own struggles. Latinos, they choose to come here. We mm -hmm. didn't choose to come here. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. We need to stick to that because that's our way of getting ahead. And the government, they know this. And and more that we activate the government, the, our, and I'm going to tell you something, like, I love it. I'd rather die believing that, even mm -hmm. though I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go with my teachers, whether mm -hmm. it's Marcus Garvey, he said it, because he even said that, I'm from Africa. I'm not from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Marcus Garvey is Jamaican, but he's letting you know my people came from from Africa to Jamaica, mm -hmm. and 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 they they all took. They say, "Wow!" So he's the one who pushed in the Pan Africanism, mm -hmm. the red, black, and green. We 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 hold that dear to our heart because that because those those colors symbolize something, and that symbolized the continent. That's our throne. At the end of the day, that's our throne. But we have to keep that because that's what get the white man pissed off. He's mad. He don't want to owe us nothing. And I'd rather die. I'd rather fucking die and tell him and say, you owe my people. I'd rather die like Dr. King because they killed him because he was pushing reparations. He was pushing because they don't want to because when they owe us, when they give us the money, did you know we'll become the most, we'll become most a powerful race again? Because guess where my money going to go? My money gonna go invest in those cars over there that the black man's making over there in Africa, and I'm gonna try to bring those cars over there. We ride in European cars and Asian cars. The Japanese cars got their own cars. The Koreans got the go. Where's our, where's the, where's the African cars, Talik? Where's our cars at? They making them? I will tell you this, and I'm gonna say say this, and, and we're gonna I'm gonna have to get out of here. Um, you cannot give our people. No money in the, with the mentality that they they have right now. Because you might invest in, in an African automobile factory. These niggas going straight to Mercedes Benz. They going straight to Disneyland. Well, brother, you know, I can go straight to the weed house. I understand that, but you can't do that with these niggas. You can't. You can't. You can't. And you know, me, and me and you're right. But you we can't, can't. But we can't. We can't focus on that. I rather get. I rather. I rather we got to start from somewhere. And here's here's the thing is, I rather be connected to people who think like me. We got to start investing. We can't worry about what other black people do with their money. If that's what they want to do, they want to give back to white folks. Yeah. That's what they do. 
We can't worry about that's that. That's the reason why the cracker, I was telling them, you know, I said, that's why the government should just go ahead and give a little funky reparation. You know you don't get the majority of it you right back, yeah, anyway. You back anyway. Yeah, it's true. And see, we so messed up, really, if we had competent leadership, they could handle the situation for us and put it in the youth where it needs to go. You should not, you should never put nothing like that in the hands of no individual because our people are stupid like that. Because mm -hmm. you know they're going to buy. Look look what they do when they win the prices right. They win that little money, whatever. And you see what they do. They win the lottery. How many dark-skinned people have won the lottery? That's and they true. gamble and win thousands thousands. It ain't like we really broke. Right. Niggas in this country ain't really that broke. They keep talking about all the black folks are so poor. They just look at all the money they gave to the Black Panther movie. How many car factories could you build with that money mm -hmm. that they just gave to the Black Panther? Right. Get it on bootleg, invest in the, in the car factory, but they ain't going to do that. Negro find money for what he really, want. but, they don't really say, want. but let me say something, Tali. Money is new to us. Money is new to us. Remember, the white man, he had 400 years to practice and do things with money and invest money and all this other flip and know how to flip it. He had no. He had four hundred years. Yeah. We didn't start getting. We didn't start seeing a million dollars when I'm seeing. I'm talking about us, like Muhammad Ali and these guys, since the to the sixties. Well, no. Maybe, maybe in the fifties. What's uh? What's the name? Uh, the first millionaire was uh, Ida B. Wells. You know, she okay. did the hot comb. Ida B. Wells, yeah, that's sure with the hot comb. And yes. and um and um uh Dick Gregory said he got his got his made it made, made his millions when in the or like in the fifties or something like that. Uh -huh. I'll be with, but yeah, but yeah, with the icon, yes. That's you cool. had millionaires back in the back in the day, right? You know, well, money has that, a big problem for the so-called. We didn't have four hundred years, though. Yeah, right. Yeah, we, you didn't have. We don't have four hundred. We way behind in the game because gotcha. we talk about millions. These crackers talk about billions, if not trillions. That's true. Exactly. See, our our little businesses make millions, but his crap. The, the studio or the black Marvel studio just did a billion on this one move, movie. Right. Just did a billion dollars worldwide. They bragging over a billion. Yeah, that's what that's the new thing. A billion dollars is new now. That's a new thing now. Stan Lee and the boys like, I appreciate the Negroes in America and <laughs> kicking it off. And then they then they talk about the African because there's a lot of YouTube video. We got the Black Panther in Africa here too, and then Ghana and places. Yeah, yeah for the Black Panther, you know. <laughs> How is that gonna help your situation? You know, it's not, you know, get that crap on bootleg. The hell with that stuff. You know? but, but, but I, got a, I got a copy of the bootleg, beautiful copy. Matter of fact, just wait a couple of months and you can get the actual beautiful copy off the internet. It ain't that serious. It ain't that the serious. Thing is, brother, what you have to understand is bringing us. I, I look at the the, the the we all forming a bridge between blacks over here and blacks in Africa. We got to bridge. Oh, yeah. We got we got to build that bridge, B. What's his name? What's what's his name? Your boy Killmonger, the brother that played yeah, Killmonger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just saw a picture of him at some stand or whatever. Got a picture of a cracker gal with a string up her ass. But I they like, said, but they said that he wasn't with her. He wasn't with they her. Said he was with her. What? I wouldn't want to be around her at all. Period. Why are you hanging around some some Becky with a string up her ass? I don't know. I don't know what was the because sometimes sometimes you could get caught. Yeah, I know. I know. Somebody in, you know, at the wrong time, wrong place, you know? Yeah, it happens to start a long time. Like, somebody is standing there and they associate you with, with that person. But you ain't going to never find me in no place and Becky standing next to me. You ain't going to find me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't go to places like I that. Know, I don't know what the situation with that, so I don't know. It's not like he was hugging up on her. Or no, like he that. was. No, he was. Which is like, a good thing. But but I, you, I ain't going to give him a chance to catch no picture of you. I, you ain't gonna see no picture of me with Becky with a string in her ass. You know what I mean? No, it ain't gonna happen. No, 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 no. You ain't, you ain't gonna catch me like that. They gonna say, they're gonna pull the Tony Luke, they go Becky with the string in the ass. No, no, no. I'm not even gonna put myself in a, in a position where Becky can come around me with a string in the ass. You know, she's gonna have to be fully clothed. You know, as soon as she started stripping, I'm out. I know, no, 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 you gonna keep me caught. He could be, he could have been working on another movie. I mean, who knows? I don't like I said, I don't know what the, the situation is. Because after some yeah, point I, I know what part two. Part two of the Black Panther movie. Becky comes to comes to Wakanda. That's uh, what it was. That's that's what it was. You you got it, brother uh, brother G. 
Black Panther Party. Yeah, they can come to Wakanda. That's the Black Panther Party. I am not going to support that shit. I'll be pissed. I'll be pissed. <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's part of what that's part of what he was working on. Black I don't know if that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, man, let me get out of here. It's almost yeah, it's too, almost man. midnight. You yeah, got I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, watch some. Hey, how you doing, brother Craig? You still there? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm just laying back, man. You know, preparing myself for bed and just taking all the you know information in and. Yeah, we always have a good time here, man. Yeah, we are. We, I think, I think our conversation was very uh, informative and, and intellectual. I mean, and I guess whoever watch it, they can, you know, make the decide what they, you know, make the decision for themselves what they want to be or what they want to consider themselves or whatever. Yeah, right. they, it was just, it was just, you know, you know, I didn't want to make a turnaround to be like a debate. It was just more like, I rather, I rather just take what I know from the past. Yeah. It's like a boxer will learn how to fight. You know, mm -hmm. you got to learn from the greats. Mm -hmm. And I want to learn from the greats. Like you said, Malcolm expired you at, at some point, in some way. He expired me, and I learned from him. I learned from Garvey. Because that's the only way it's going to make me to find out who I am and what I'm supposed to do in life, you mm -hmm. know? And like you said, I can take their knowledge and do something and just and go and, and just go, uh, another way. Remember, it's, it's more than one way to win a war. Yeah. And maybe I can't do what Markham did. Maybe I could go another way. Uh -huh. But I gotta take their teachings and learn from it. Right. And, and yeah, I let people I let white men know, yeah, I'm African. I'm from Africa. This is my culture. And they'd be shocked. They'd be like, wow. I said, yeah. Like I had like I was telling you about the Asian guy I was telling, I don't know if I re you remember. Uh -huh. He was telling, oh, we we know Kung Fu. And Kung Fu came from Asia. I said, No, not the walls and Kemet. We did yeah. that. And I show him the picture. Uh -huh. He was like, Wow. How, how uh, what you? I said this. You talking about five thousand years ago? Y'all just now learning this? What? What? Two thousand years? You know, you didn't learn the kung fu. You see this in the wall. It wasn't yeah. no yellow people doing that. That's black people. Well, I I tell you this: the Chinese make some hell of five kung fu movies. You know, they I ain't seen, I ain't seen nobody come come to the point where they make movies better than the Chinese. When they kung fu. I'm a big Michael Jai White fan. Yeah, and he he's one hell of a fighter, and you yeah, can yeah. tell. He's a natural. Look at Wesley Snipes. You can't get no brother could fight. And yeah, but you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess I'm just guys, they they just it's not natural. They, you know, don't get me wrong, they make some good Bruce Lee makes some good movies. I like Bruce Lee. Yeah. But the brothers, they got it down. I'd rather watch my people. They they know how to do it. And it's natural. I, you know, I like Jim Kelly. I was a Jim Kelly fan. Jim Ke oh, Jim Kelly, another one. Matter of fact, if it wasn't for Bruce Lee, I wouldn't even know nothing about Jim Kelly. You know, he put him That's in that movie. Too. That's true too. He put him in that movie, uh, Enter the Dragon. What about what's that guy Billy? Was the other guy Billy something? There was another guy, another kung fu guy. We way go way back. Uh, his name is uh, Billy something. I don't know. Uh, um, what's his name? It's Billy Billy it's blanks, blanks or whatever. Billy Blanks or something like that. That's that's that that's the exercise guy. Billy no, Blanks. no, he was he was in, he was a kung fu movies. He was a kung yeah. fu. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was. He was. Then he did the when he got older. That's when he did the exercise. Oh, movie. was it? Okay, I didn't. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. But uh, I don't know. I just Bruce Lee just was my guy, man. You know, in the seventies when I was a, ch a child, when Bruce Lee came out, that's all it was about. Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. Bruce Lee was the was the was the man. But they stole they stole everything from from black people. They stole everything. You remember that? Maybe he was hopping around. He, yeah, he, he, for Muhammad Ali. Even Muhammad he, Ali said, oh, that's you. I mean, he, he said he he said he wanted to box Muhammad Ali. Never yeah, got to the chance. That, yeah. he so they he took everything from us. He everything like, from got us. to stop. But you know, I don't. You know, when people talk about we stealing something, you know, admiring somebody for what they do don't necessarily mean you stealing. You know, you doing something, whatever, don't mean that I'm stealing from you. I just, I like, I like, I like the way that he do that. I like, they I want to. The thing is, they don't give us the credit. I've never heard of Asian people say, "Oh, we learned this from from from, from black people." Well, maybe they don't know. Cause maybe they don't know. Maybe just like you say, you taught that guy. He's like, "Hell, that's the first time they knew knew that's about." True. They don't know. But they, but like Craig said before, they said they they just is brainwashed too. Right. Absolutely. So, your right. opinion, they brainwash too. If you keep saying, "Oh, you superior, you superior," and yeah. you create everything, you will grow up and thinking that white right. create everything. Right. And, Absolutely. And then, 
And then you would tell black people, oh, you didn't create nothing. Y'all savages. Y'all, you was born a slave. Yeah. You know, and we, and you have black people actually believe in that. Yeah. So, so when, when, when so yeah, I'm going to, who I'd rather learn from. I don't want to be growing up believing that. Look at Malcolm X. He said that he'd been called a nigga so many times. He thought that was his name. <laughs> right. When he realized he, when he realized he know the truth. Mm -hmm. So, and look what he did. He read books. He learned my who thing, he was. My thing also is, you know, I don't need to keep, I, I don't need to reach 5,000 years ago, 2,000 years, 500 years ago. I'm proud of the accomplishments that my people have done right here in the United States, coming from up out of a slave-like condition. Because we've done some amazing things considering that's where we come from. But what did they learn? But they, but they understand what well, what did they learn it from? And what did they learn it from? What did, what did their teachers learn it from? So we got well, we, at some point we got to find out what they learned. Make, to me, it really don't make a whole lot of difference. It's the fact that they done what they done. They came straight out of slavery, and actually was doing better than the cracker that was in the south. That's where the problem started. Because the old Paul Pepper was like, "How the hell was they slaves and can't read and write, and they got more than me?" How the hell did that happen? <laughs> they got they got totally upset over that stuff. That's true. You're right. So you know we are some amazing people. Can you imagine what we could do if they wouldn't wouldn't bothering us? If they didn't tear the things that we created down, that there was nobody messing with us. Woo, man. I will say this, and this is what I'm. We're gonna end this like this. Yeah. Support black businesses. There's. I just bought some. And Craig. If you're listening, I bought some RB. I just ordered some RBG sneakers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I bought I love those sneakers. myself. They red, black, and green. They red, black, and I love them. I just this is my second pair now. Mm -hmm. And I even signed up to earn money. Mm -hmm. So whoever buys them, we can get red money. That's how we grow as a people. This is a start. Mm -hmm. And I have a hat with the onk. I don't know if you've seen that, but I have a hat and I bought that. So I'm, as long as my people start doing something, I'm going to support them. I'm going to start putting my money into black. If you have a black bank, yeah, put your money in that. This is where the change starts because at the end of the day, it becomes that dollar. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I don't like the faces on that dollars, right? but it comes down to the dollar. At the end of the day, my question is where your money's going. Right. That's the question. Because at the end of the day, money talks. You could, like you said, and I remember you had said this, you can talk all that black stuff all you want. Yeah. But at the end of the day, can you back it up with that dollar? Mm -hmm. I want to be that dollar where I want to have, if I'm going to preach, I want to be, the, the money got to be the currency. Mm -hmm. I want to be, if I'm going to be, if I'm going to be African, I got to be worth something. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a broke African man and talk and be with a dashiki and all that. I want to be worth a million dollars. White people walk around, they walk around like they're a million, they, they are billion dollars. Mm -hmm. That's why if you kill one of them, you 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 automatically going to get locked up. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to start some serious time. When they kill us, they get off. Mm -hmm. That just shows you that our lives don't mean nothing because we don't value our lives. Mm -hmm. When we start whipping these white people's ass and let you know you ain't going to touch my brother, I'm not going to sit there and record. I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna whip their ass. If they put their hand on you, my brother, I'm there. And even if I got put my life in a, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not a Christian. Mm -hmm. But you got black people that go to church every fucking day, and they don't even do what Jesus have done. Right. Jesus says, love, love each other as brothers as I loved you, because he knew he was gonna go. He said, mm -hmm. I'm gonna die. They're mm -hmm. gonna kill me. So you gotta continue that. You gotta protect each other. Mm -hmm. You gotta die for each other, mm -hmm. just like I'm gonna die for you. You got black, black people don't do that. They sit there, go to church, and they singing um that fucking that slave song <laughs> about, about John Newton, what's his name? Norton, whatever his name is, who sing um Amazing Grace, mm -hmm. the slave trader. And you got black people singing Amazing Grace. Mm -hmm. Amazing Grace. That's a slave trader. Mm -hmm. Why are you singing that song? And and, and oh, amazing grace. And they singing that song in the church in these black churches. Yeah, that's 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 a that's a uh, uh, what they call it? that's a staple. <laughs> I, so think, got, I think I think every church I've ever been to sing that. That sing and black people singing that, and that came from a slave trader, yeah. a white evil white man. Mm -hmm. And 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 
We got to, we got to, if they, they don't even follow the Bible, I'm just like, yo, if you're going to read the Bible, at least do, the only person that know that did exactly what he supposed to do was Dr. King. And he was a, he was a true Christian, I should say, as far as he, he died like Jesus died. He mm -hmm. died for his people. Yeah. That's what we need to do. We need to continue that. We need to sacrifice each other, sacrifice for one another, as well as our families. But we need to do it for you. Because when I see you, I see myself. Right. That's right. This is what we need to do. And this is what the change needs to do. Right. I'm not saying we can't do what, what our people, we can't do what the Black Panthers did. They did what they did. They shot cops. They killed. Mm -hmm. They did what they You got people right now, out, political prisoners right now, still locked up. Yeah. So there's another way because times are changing. So we got to change with the times, but we cannot change who we are. Mm -hmm. We got to keep the movement. Our, our teachers have teachers. If they say that we African people, okay, fine. Let's roll with that, but let's go another way of fighting. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. But let's don't forget what they saying, which I proved to you that they from Garvey, from Elijah Muhammad, from Malcolm, they say they African. So let's roll with that. It doesn't change who you are. It doesn't change Talik. You're going to be you. You sit there, you do your videos, and you give your message. Right. But that's not going to change who you are. If you don't want to, you wear the dashika, but they're fine. But when, when other races look at you, they see an African man. Mm -hmm. Fine. Roll with it. Roll. That's what I'm saying. Just roll with it. So at least we have a common goal. We were talking about common goal. At least have a common goal. Because I can't associate with people who's not African. I can't. If you tell me you're not African, I can't, how can I associate with you? I'm not African. Like, guess what? That's the end of the association. <laughs> that's, that's the end of the association. Uh, uh, but, we got, but, but you represent the... Because I'm not, I'm not going to claim you represent that. represent Pan-Africanism. You do I'm represent... Not, no, I'm not going to represent... I'm not going to represent Pan-Africanism because that's a that's an idea that's... The pen. It's the pen. You wore the I'm, pen. The Malcolm X. That's yeah, Pan-Africanism. Right. You wore that. Right. But you represent... No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. That's just that's that's just a button that I I display because of Malcolm's picture. Pan Africanism is is something that that even those people on the continent don't give a damn about because they're not even trying to unite again. Here you got the Chinese, these crackers, coming to that continent, doing what they do, and these people are so stupid, they still they would rather be destroyed rather than come together and deal with the with the with the modern day invaders because they don't. It's all see that continent is about it's you know it's it's about tribalism. They have hatred and war and dislike have been going on for centuries, way before the cracker even got there. They don't like each other like that. You got people that you you we have this delusion like these people believe they are brothers and sisters. There are many of them will tell you that them people ain't my brother, they're not my sister. They don't view themselves as no family. I understand that, but this is what they social just don't. they we, just don't. Is, Listen to me, brother. This is where social media comes in because I have African people on my Facebook page and they are now in tune with the movement. They are saying that I'm Pan-Africanism too because they want to listen to me. And we need that. We need to come together. But that's just, uh, that's some Facebook friends. You talk about the leadership that's there. The leadership in Congo, in Congo and all these different places. That's the, that's the, the leadership but it's there. They're not interested. But let me tell you something. I was I was looking at the uh, 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 all eyes on me when yeah. the, um, Tupac's mother said that it wasn't because we had the black leather. But she was the Tupac's mother was with the Black Panther movement. Yeah. She said it doesn't matter. We had the guns. Is that the reason why the government was mad at people? We was opening we was opening minds of our right. people. That's what the government don't want you to do. So when you get on social media, remember they said you got they locked you up because you was crazy. They thought you was crazy. You wasn't crazy. You was opening minds. So that's why they they were they were willing to kill me. They, either they're gonna kill you or they're gonna lock you up or they're gonna say you crazy mm -hmm. because they open their minds. This is what we need to start doing. We gotta open their minds and we gotta put out. Uh, we gotta walk the walk as long as well as talk the talk. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. And this is a good it's platform. Like a marriage. See, it's, 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 you got to work, look at it. It's like a marriage. People got to learn how to compromise their positions in order to get a job done. That's true. You know, we, we're on a team. We're, you know, we're on a team. And I always give this uh, example of Michael Jordan. 
Everybody that was playing with Michael Jordan didn't like that dude. That's true. You're right. But see, but they all wanted that championship. And Michael Jordan, who was the superstar, you got to give Michael Jordan his credit. Mm -hmm. But Michael Jordan was not playing team ball. Phil Jackson had to sit down with Michael and say, look, okay, you're a superstar. We, we give you that, bro. Okay. You can't do this by yourself. That's true. You're going to have to be the leader. And you're going to have to be a team member here. And when Michael Jordan did that, he still was a superstar. Mm -hmm. But he began to take his team to championship. Mm -hmm. the, it, it, you hear the interviews from some of the other guys. A lot of them didn't like Michael Jordan. That's but true. they won a championship to, to, for Chicago. Well, let me, let me say this. I think a, a lot of our times that we need to stop getting jealous for one another. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, when, when it came down to winning a championship, yeah. They, they had to give the ball to Michael Jack Jordan anyway because he know he'll get that ball in. Right. If I, if I know if I'm Scottie Pippen, I can't do what Jordan do. Right. But so I have to give it to him because he, for some marriage, I mean, he will get that ball in that hole. He was the main guy. Right. I of Michael Jordan threw a three-point shot from dunking. Mm -hmm. And he would get the most points. Mm -hmm. He was the main guy. So it doesn't matter if they, a lot of the time it was just a little jealousy. We get jealous of one another. Mm -hmm. But we got to use that jealousy of one another to make us better. Say, look, uh, yeah, I might, I might, I might have a little hate. Look, I'm hating on Talik, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, he got some knowledge or whatever. But what can I do to be like this guy? Mm -hmm. And we need to take our little jealousy and and work on that instead of just bringing you down. Mm -hmm. Like you said, they didn't bring Michael Jordan down. They didn't accidentally uh, mess up the game so they won't win championship. Right. They worked with him. And they became better. Yeah. And when that when I talk about Michael Jordan, they had to get like you said, they gave him his props. This man yeah. was amazing. I've heard yeah. him say. Yeah. And we, without him, we wouldn't have get no rings. Mm -hmm. So we can we can be jealous of one another, but let us work. Let's take that jealousy, work for our benefits. And and that's, jealousy is natural. But when we, what we do, Tali, mm -hmm. our people, we we like crabs in a barrel. We bring each other down. We yeah. have to get fired off a job. And it's yeah. like, oh, it's just stupid shit. Yeah. You know, and I said, why, you know, I've been in a situation where all people want to fight me on a job. Yeah. And I'm like, are you serious? Instead of just working with me and learning from me so you could become better. Right. But they don't want to do that. So they rather sacrifice themselves to bring another black man or black woman down, which is sick. Well, I, I tell you, see. I talk about Minister Farrakhan all the time, but uh, my problem, I don't have nothing, I keep telling these people, it ain't nothing personal. Minister Farrakhan is not a leader. He's not He's not nobody to follow like that. Sure. I agree. You know, he's a good teacher and he can hype you up, but he's not a, he's, he's had 40 years to prove what type of leadership he, matter of fact, his ultimate test was that Million Man March. Mm -hmm. And nothing came about it, nothing. Sure. And then he turned around just recently and did the Justice or Else campaign. Nothing came about it. Mm -hmm. He done did the, the, the he done did the the, the, the three-year and the five-year Muhammad economic program. I don't know how many times. <laughs> don't hear about it no more. You know, he had the Blue Seas Fish Program. I love that fish. I don't know where the hell they got it from. I think it's from <laughs> that was some bad fish. I don't know where they got it from. It just stopped. Mm -hmm. People in my neighborhood said, man, where, where, where the fish at? I said, I don't know. You know, being with him, they'll start something and then stop. That ain't how you run business. That ain't how you do things. That's true. But with him, the time that I spent with him, we'll start something, then all of a sudden it just, it's just disappearing and stop. Wow. That's I said, he's not, the Million Man March was the was the first opportunity that we can we can we can rally around one leader. He was the only one able to come, and everybody was under this voice of Louis Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. And he didn't he, he he didn't know what to do with it. Right. And then those the the Uncle Toms, they was laughing and joking, talking about a real bad on the radio. Mm. Next thing you know, Allah came to me and to, told me I gotta take this tour. He getting the hell out of die. Wow. He got tired of, he got tired of hearing them niggas, because I'm telling you, they was talking about him like a dog and laughing and giggling. Farrakhan had all those men and, and he gonna talk about the damn dollar bill. I was there. I was there and the brother's like, what the hell is he talking about? Wait, he gonna talk about, he gonna get a history of the dollar bill. Said, 
we are here in Washington, D.C., and George Washington, the dollar bill, and, and he gave the, the science behind it. And we looking at each other. I had it that last march, he did. That march should have been a million dollar march. Uh -huh. Million man dollar march. Where everybody put their the million people put it down so he could create a business. That's what that's that's what he should have done. Not no million man march, man, million dollar march. That's what he that's where he, that's the march. I'm pretty sure he got at least one dollar from every person that he was said, there. According to him, he said he's worth three, three million dollars. Yeah. He's well, he's um Louis Farrakhan, he's he's he's, he's 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 a rich man. Yeah, but I'm like, okay, you've been around for 40 years. How many people that have been around 40 years with you? Are they millionaires too? Mm, that's a good question. I can tell you my relatives that support him all these years, they ain't no millionaires. Matter of fact, they too old to send him the money they used to send him. Not everybody on these fixed income. Wow. They was giving, bro, the, the, now, now they would allow me to borrow a thousand, right? <laughs> and every few minutes, when you gonna pay my money back? When you gonna pay my money back? But with him, they give a thousand dollars. Who the minister? Oh, he's just so great. He's right. wonderful. My my, I had a relative paid a thousand dollars just so she could sit at the table and eat eat a bean pie with him. Oh hell no. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. That's, and that's then what happened at the dinner? What happened at the dinner? He'll say her name. Oh, the minister said my name. Do you hear that? Oh no. He knows me. Of course he knows. He see you all the time in the in the in the early days of the nation building process i used to see him all the time of course he he, he know you he, he said your thing so what wow hell i was in the man's house the final call newspaper the original final call newspapers came from a print press in the basement of his house mm. that's why I, that's and i was i was in the east st louis temple and we used to go to chicago all the time it's only 300 miles from, right. from st louis. okay we used to go there all the time fix it fix the cars get the newspaper all that kind of good stuff. So, so is it true? Is it they, is it true that they are knock on your door for, for the for the money if you sell the newspapers? I've heard stories. It never happened. Yeah. Back in the day, I heard in the sixties, you know, during Elijah Muhammad time, Malcolm time, I heard them Negroes did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, that's what I that's what I've, that's what I've, uh, I've heard too. Yeah. Now I heard from some brothers in in my time. Brothers told they got beat up for some reasons or whatever. Oh. But in my temple. You know, they never, they never, I never heard of nothing like that. Oh, I can't okay. say that in my temple. Oh, okay. Now, after I left the nation, it was a different deal because I was still wearing my FOI pin. Oh, okay. And I would go visit the temple and brother said, you ain't in the temple, but you got an FOI pin. I said, because I paid for it, nigga. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm wearing this pin. That's the reason why. Well, you shouldn't be wearing, wearing a pin. I said, why shouldn't I pay the money for it? The temple, the, the nation didn't give me nothing. <laughs> the, the temple now if the nation gave me my pen i'll take it off and say here you go mm -hmm. i bought this pen and i bought it by selling the final car i got all my little final car money turned it in and i was able to get this pen it's mine i earned it what well, i think we should take it for us well i guess we finna we finna throw it out up in here then because <laughs> it, it ain't happening with me right dude talk about taking my pen are Good. you crazy they bugging yeah, they ain't bugging. Here I am. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not in the temple. I'm still bringing visitors. I'm still coming there buying final calls, buying bean pies. I'm bringing visitors. They listen to your Islam crap. You know, I'm, I'm still doing it. And then so you got I got a question. Let me ask this question before you yeah. go off, since you mentioned the final. <laughs> Oh, no, I mean, I'm sorry. Before this program goes off, since you mentioned the final call, since I bought a lot of them, so yeah. do the the sellers, the people who sell those magazines, do they get a percentage of yeah. that money, or does it go directly to just the nation? Yeah, when you um, when when I used to sell it for a dollar, you get a quarter for every okay. paper you sell. Mm. I used to sell some hell of five papers though, man. That yeah, new quarter was stacking up pretty quick. But see, I sell my papers to anybody. I go downtown where the crackers live, uh, working in whatever, and find a call. You, you know, hell, we buy their newspaper, the St. Louis Post Dispatch, and New York Post. I said, how come they can't buy our paper? It ain't meant for them. I don't give a damn about that, man. I want the, I want the damn dollar, <laughs> and go get me some more paper. You run around here talking about what you ain't gonna sell, and most of a lot of them brothers had their damn papers in the back of their car. Mm. And they, would, I, they would pay for their papers. From out of their money, they work. They so get some white work. 
Okay, for an example, like if a paper costs a dollar and I am gracious enough to give five, so the um, seller gets to keep the donation, the extra money as well? You get a quarter for, for each paper that you sell. The paper costs a dollar, you get a quarter. No, but I'm t I mean, sometimes when I buy papers, I'll just give them like five dollar, like a five dollar oh, bill or something. But I guess they the brothers are keeping. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how that. I thought all that money went back to the nation. No, I, I guess the brother a uh, keeper. If he want to donate it, I guess he could. Only thing, he's responsible for the newspaper. Anything he get extra, that's that's his. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Wow. Yeah. And I and I got that money too. You know, people you know give you more than a dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that. You know, but we, you know, I used to be out there hustling and doing my thing. I don't see brothers. I mean, I see them out there a lot, but not like the way it was when I was I was doing. Music. Yeah, there used to be a, there used to be a lot in the nineties, but yeah, now they, I don't know what happened. Big. I think the business is slow now. Well, you know, Minister Farrakhan himself, you know, he the, that Scientology stuff and yeah. things he's been doing. I know a lot of people is leaving that, leaving and leaving them too. A lot of know a lot of people who was uh, used to be down with the nation of Islam. They started leaving because he started to. Uh, uh, detour a lot of Elijah Muhammad's teachings too. Yeah, I mean, but he can he can talk for four hours, and very very little do he give reference to Elijah Muhammad. Yeah, he, sure. You know, Malcolm will talk about Elijah Muhammad, and he'll say every few whatever. And Elijah Muhammad taught us this, yeah. and the message yeah. said this. You don't hear that from Minister Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. He talk for four hours, and he might say, "Well, you know, Elijah Muhammad." Did yeah. I see that picture him? Then he keep keep rolling for four yeah. hours. Mm -hmm. You know, he don't he don't do that. That's because it's not Elijah Muhammad's teaching. Not, yeah, like, yeah, he's he's changing the whole doctor doctrine. Yeah, and uh, if you listen to um, uh, Ali uh, Ali Muhammad, uh -huh. you know he uh, he talks about that because he used to he's, he has a lot of issues with uh, Louis Farrakhan. He used to be with the nation. And he left. Yeah. He's still a Muslim, but he was like he's more towards uh, Elijah Muhammad's teachings. Yeah, he said he just he he he, he really hates. Louis Farrakhan. He really hates Louis Farrakhan. You know, taking pictures with white women and yeah. and, uh, and all this other stuff. And his now, you know, his son married to a white woman. One yeah. of his sons, uh, I think it's so with a J. It's one of his sons. Joshua. 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 Yeah, married to a white woman. Got a biracial child. And well, you know, he was a drug addict. Yeah, Lodge Muhammad. That was against Lodge Muhammad. All that's against Lodge Muhammad's teaching. Joshua was a drug addict, and he met this cracker thing in the drug re re drug rehab. But why, is, but why is Louis Farrakhan taking a picture with the mother-in-law? I don't know. I wouldn't even want people to know myself. I'm like, if I if I was going on, I wouldn't even want people to know. I try to keep that on the hush hush. Exactly. And you know, and plus that's his son. Don't have nothing to do with him. But he's parading around like he's proud of the crap. Mm hmm. And he's on he's on picture. I never saw Elijah Muhammad take pictures with a white person. No. I never saw colleague Muhammad take pictures with white people. No. I never saw Malcolm take pictures with white people. I never seen that. But Louis Farrakhan, he's cheesing over. He said that Eminem was his brother. Now that's against <laughs> Elijah Muhammad's teachings. He said yeah. the white man's not your brother. But he sit there on Instagram and he's put out the post or was it on Twitter for uh -huh. oh, my brother Eminem. Uh -huh. What? And Eminem is known of dissing black women. Uh -huh. And I said, what is he doing? See, and this is the reason my disgust with that man. Yeah. You don't do that. He's, a, he's a celebrity seeker. You know, he, he always want to be in some some uh celebrity's face, you know, some singer, rapper, or whatever. Uh, you know, he you know, here I am, I'm working my ass off <laughs> for you and doing this. Won't give me the time of day, but next thing I know, here goes Snoop Dogg. Yeah. We, we boy. Exactly. I see you over. <laughs> I, 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 you know, he wouldn't. He knows my uncle. My uncle just died two years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, didn't even acknowledge. Didn't send a, a, a postcard, condolence, or nothing. And I told my auntie. I said, "This man knows your husband." Well, it's all right. No, it ain't all right. Now you see what kind of person this guy was from the very beginning. You know? And let me, say, let me add on something else, my brother. Yeah. Louis Farrakhan didn't do nothing for. The funeral of Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. He don't give homage or did give his uh, his respects to Malcolm X, who did a lot for the nation way mm -hmm. before he became became leader. Right. He never done nothing for not even colleague Muhammad. He never gave any 
uh, condolences. He never went to the funeral. Mm. And I pose a, I pose a respect. Louis Farrakhan, when this, when these people had, uh, Kali Muhammad had put so much energy building, help building Farrakhan up. He was, he, willing, was he was willing to, to give his life for that man. He Thank carried you. a pistol in the early day. He was carrying a pistol to protect Thank him if necessary. And you met Kali Muhammad, am I right? I met him very briefly when he was, when he, when he was Harold X. Oh. That's, that's what I knew. That's when I knew uh, Kyler. He was Harold X. Wow. Yeah. That's what's up. He was the minister of 27 in California. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah, because I didn't know who this uh, Khaled Muhammad person was. I said, who the hell is Khaled Muhammad? You know, because I knew him as Harold X. I forgot what his last name was. Oh, okay. Was I mean, Harold, I, yeah, Harold uh, X. Yeah, I didn't know who, I didn't know who Khaled Muhammad was. Yeah, he, uh, I remember uh, when Louis Farrakhan had did the speech, Talking about our uh, colleague Muhammad, he didn't like the fact that colleague Muhammad wore a Malcolm X pen. That's how he mm. he noticed him. That's why he was like, and um, I think he was a little upset. So that's why he was trying to get him under his wing, like mm -hmm. you know, get him away from the whole Malcolm. Yeah. But then, but but colleague Muhammad, he wanted to be like Malcolm so bad. He was he was he was like the new Malcolm of in the nineties. Mm -hmm. You know. And he did the the youth march and yeah. he went against Giuliani over it. Yeah, it was it was he was a powerful dude. So the next he couldn't handle so Louis Farrakhan couldn't control him. So he kicked him out. Mm -hmm. So he, that's when he joined the new black the, the new Black Panther Party. Because I heard that speech of King Collin. I'm like, he ain't saying no more than what Mr. Farrakhan had been said himself. Mm -hmm. fact, I heard Mr. Farrakhan said words. Then he gonna turn around and, and talk about uh Khaled, he didn't represent the nation. And mm -hmm. I remember that. Yep. Thing at, by that time, that was um, by that time I was totally out of the nation because I was totally out of the, out of the nation by 1990 because I think oh, that wow. King College thing happened in 93 or 92 or something like that. Oh, okay, okay. I was totally out. I was trying to hang. Uh, I was trying to hang. Uh, I was still hanging strong around 19. Uh, 80, 87, 88, I was still trying to hang. Okay. By 1990, I was like, I'm done. For real. Mm. And the only reason why I hung that long, because I was cool with the, it was a, a minister in Jackson, Mississippi, and I was living in Jackson, Mississippi at the time. Okay. And that brother didn't know the teaching. I said, man, how they, how they make you minister? And you, he don't know the, he didn't know the teaching. Wow. So actually, we became roommates, and I would teach him, the teaching. That's he didn't crazy. Know. He didn't know, man. Cause I was there, I'm like, that ain't Elijah Muhammad teaching. What, what are you doing? Well, I no, brother. And I would show him. I said, I'm not going to just tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab the material and show you. No, brother, this is, how, <laughs> this is how it go. He had them brothers and sisters in Jackson all messed up. Cause he didn't know, but he was the minister there. That's crazy. Yeah, but he was the minister. You know, brother, brother Charles. He probably ain't even with him no more. A lot That's, of people. It's funny because. People, it kind of, it, I mean, it's going to add on some of it. Malcolm said, they said Malcolm used to catch ministers eating bacon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, they they said, they said that brother, uh, Joseph X was uh, uh, still a hog eater. Yes. Yeah. I heard about that too. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. All right. Sleeping with white women too. Yeah. Well, that's proof. Right? We well, right you know, right. under under Farrakhan, you know, they had that scandal. They had homosexual FOI. Oh wow! Wow! You hear about that? That no, was the nineties. About that? Yeah, it was. They, uh, I think they, uh, uh, they had they committed suicide or something. One of the brothers committed suicide because he was in love with another FOI. Oh. And that that was going on. If you know, Farrakhan had to hurry up and jump on that. You know. Cover that up real quick. Well, yeah, I think that that that's, that could be possible. I believe it. Yeah, but see, I was out of I was out of the temple totally by that time. I didn't deal with no yeah. I can't accuse me. I wasn't around no stuff like that. But I'm like, how did how did how did they how did they actually operate being a homosexual in the FOI? Y'all yeah. didn't detect that at all. <laughs> well, you got a lot of you got a lot of down low brothers. I mean, that's yeah. you will never know in a million years. It's, it's you know, if I was an FOI, how you gonna approach me, man? You know, like, um, 
you won't. But they won't. Act, I don't think they will act like that. I think they will. No, act they won't act that way. But I mean, how you gonna? How you gonna even gonna begin to approach a guy, and you know what we being taught? How yeah, could you? How, yeah. how, how can you even begin to approach? I will tell you this. I don't have no problem with homosexual brothers, you know, and, and, and sisters or whatever. They've never done nothing to me. I, they've always been respectable to me. I've never been hit on by none of them. You know, I, so I can't, you know, I don't know. These people talk about, I hate the homosexual, they do this and that. I've never had no problem with the brothers and sisters, you know. I like my lesbians. I was trying to fight for the same girl with a lesbian one time. Oh, damn. <laughs> we, we both was chasing the That's same crazy. Girl. <laughs> Not bad. I was locked up in the nut house. We both, being this uh, lesbian girl, we both trying to get the same girl. <laughs> I said, I'm like, oh, come on now. You know, this, you making this not real, okay? You know, am I dreaming about this? You know, what's going on here? <laughs> All right, guys. Let me, let, me, let me just end this. We got to end this. Yeah, I'm go ahead. And, uh, I just want to say we had a. This is a very uh, good discussion, and yeah. we got to continue this more, man. I, I had a, I had a really. So what is? I just wanted y'all, y'all two. What is your last thoughts and before we end it? Like, what do you want to say? What is type of message you want to give? And and we could just, you know, just end it with a nice uh, food of a food of thought. Yeah. You have something to say, brother Craig? Okay, well, basically today it was your you two guys time to shine, you know, with the Africa, you know, situation. I mean, I added a couple things in there, but, you know, I was unaware of what, you know, tonight's topic was going to be about. So I'm just going to wait for the, um, you know, for this video to upload and I'll go back and rewatch it hopefully mm -hmm. sometime tonight. But, you know, you know, thanks, you know, once again. And hopefully we will be able to, you know, share many more, you know, topics and discussions and stuff like that here on this platform. So appreciate, you know, you two brothers, you know, you know, taking time, you know, out of your day, you know, to come, you know, teach. Yeah. So I'll let my brother, you know, Talik, you know, get going. And if he has any final words he wishes to say on the you know, subject matter or just anything is, you know, goodbyes. I mean, go ahead, brother. Okay. The floor is yours. Well, I just want to let you brothers know uh, I'm going to upload all of the videos from this channel to my channel called the Black Power Information Center. Nice. That's why I'm going to put these videos on the Black the Black Power Information Center. Nice. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it, it'll be uploaded probably sometime tomorrow. <clears throat> If my software works, because I always get that free software. I don't want to act right sometimes. But uh, yeah, uh, also, I'll be talking live tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Okay. And my subject is going to be defending Brother Ben X right. <laughs> from Seth and Young Pharaoh. That's, oh, my, that's, what's up. that's my subject. And uh, because since his own brothers can't give him no defense, I'll probably, I'm going to try to help the brother out a little bit. Because <laughs> he needs it, I'm telling you. I, that ba that that uh that banging they gave brother Ben man that hurt me I'm not even a Muslim I'm like oh wow oh damn <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah I, I always enjoy these talks not no debates this discussion these talks you know get a little bit better understanding but uh, again my thing is you know we have to learn how to just compromise and deal with people's differences because. Uh, I had a brother, actually, he don't talk to me no more because I I, I said I'm not going to be an African. And he said, I can't be talked to him, associate with nobody that's a, a Negro and tell him he ain't no African. I ain't heard from the brother since. Mm. And the way I look at it, good riddance to bad rubbish. Mm. You know, just like uh, people want to try to force me to believe I'm a, uh, in Jesus or Allah. Bye. Adios. It ain't happening because I'm not trying to force nothing I say on nobody. I don't get angry when people disagree. I don't get angry and say, well, you know, it's not. no, you find where you at. It's cool. The only thing I want to know is when I turn my back, do you have a knife? When I turn my back, you got a gun. You going to shoot me in my back, stab me in the back. That's all I want to know. Are you a friend or enemy? That's all I need to know. All this other stuff, I can care less. You can believe you're a watermelon if you want. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. As long as we on the same side, fighting the same battle. 
-hmm. And we can compromise our position so we can get this, we can begin to move forward. Mm -hmm. Because even in a marriage, your wife and, uh, and yourself are different. Y'all got to compromise because you might want a steak for dinner and she want chicken. You know, y'all gonna argue all, all night over that? And the children said, damn, will y'all make with y'all mom, mom and dad? We ready, we hungry. So that's the way we gotta do. The people are really hungry. They waiting for leadership. Actually, I'm gonna tell you, we are the leaders. Brother mm -hmm. Craig, you, we are the leaders. We are the brains. Once we get, once those of us who are supposed to be conscious, once we get our head on, I'm telling you, the people gonna come, especially when you are successful. People like being part of success. They don't want to be part of failure. That's true. But right now, we're confused, and they're not going to follow confusion. And the Quran said about God said, he's not the author of confusion. You, God, you're not supposed to be the author of confusion. That's true. So we're not going to, you need to get our act together because we are the head. Right. Not Umar Johnson, not Farrakhan, all that. Those, all of us who claim that we are awakened, we are the head of this. That's true. Believe me, these people will come when they see us acting correctly. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna come to madness. That's true. I'm not gonna come to madness. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna come to a state filled with Negroes with the mm -hmm. mentality that we have now. I might as well stay with the cracker, you know, and, and Becky, because you know, being with these Negroes, you get in a worse situation. These Negroes might chop your head off all right. Mm -hmm. Farrakhan in charge of a nation. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> see what he did to Malcolm. Oh yeah, no, no. That's true. No, I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, like I said. Uh, this 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 post will be on my black. All the posts from here will be on my black uh, power information center, and I will be uh, yes. defending my poor brother Ben Ben X tomorrow afternoon. And I always enjoy this, you know, talking with you brothers. Y'all, you know, y'all number one. Y'all on this. I like I like this, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully we can get other brothers uh, get this set up because I got some other brothers that want to join too. And, yeah, uh, and get some sisters on there too, man. Let's get some sisters, yeah. sisters on there. Yeah, they got you know, she'll you know, be happy to come. That's my that's my queen, uh, Rashid. I like her. Yeah, because yeah. it's because it's, it's it's a, a nation we nation building, man. It's all about nation building. Yeah, so. get some sisters on here too, cause I I, I mean y'all brothers is all right, but you know looking at your face all the time, I mean, y'all ain't. That. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, my, you know. well, my my last thought is is that oh, yes, sir. I think we need need to don't forget about the te teachers in the past, and we need to uh, we can move forward. You know, learn from the past, and like you said, Bill, yeah. brother, keep the torch burning. Yeah, you keep the torch burning because once you once you um, once you lose that torch, we, we we're gonna we're gonna be a lost nation, mm -hmm. and we got to start from somewhere. So if our if our if our ancestors has said that look this is what this is where we from or whatever we got to keep it burning and because they learn it from their answers they learn it from their and so it had to come from somewhere mm -hmm. the reason why they talking about that mm -hmm. so that's why I, that's how that's what um, of my understanding and, and without and you know the stuff that i read and stuff like that so we, we got to keep the torch burning and and we just have to um you know change up our strategy mm -hmm. You know what I mean, and that's what it is. And we have to put our mo money where our mouth is. Mm -hmm. We could talk. We could, like you said, we could talk black. We could talk soul, brother, whatever. Right. But where's your dollar going? Mm -hmm. You know, who are you supporting? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, if you keep supporting white folks, it's a losing battle. You right. making them feel rich. You making them still about because power is money. Money is power. Right in this world. In right. this world, exactly. And this is what we're facing. Yeah. So. It's all about where our dollars going, and we need to get it. In. And sometimes, yes, we need to fight for reparation. Me and Craig, this is this is always in our background. Reparations always in our mind. We need to push that because our people died for that. Mm -hmm. The government is business with them, and mm -hmm. if I have to die with that, then I die with that. If, if you know, and we need to we need to put that out there because everybody else got this. We need to get out, right. And we need to, but we can't worry about what people are gonna do with their reparation, whatever it's, it's monetary, land. We can't worry about that. The question is, if we on the same page, we gotta worry about what we're gonna do with it. Right. Are we gonna come together? And yes, we can go to Africa and build them up and we can exchange and, and do business. Mm -hmm. It's all about doing business and we can be respected. It's all about being respected. Right now, we're not being respected. Mm -hmm. You know, we always gonna be looked at as savages and jungle <laughs> people. <laughs> 
And I don't like to. I don't like that. I don't like to be called a Negro and all this other stuff. I want to be. We have to nationalize ourselves, man, as a people. Mm -hmm. And right now, we need to do that. And yes, I'm gonna rep that Pan African flag to the day I die. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. I want to be buried with that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm. I don't rock no other flag but that. Mm -hmm. You won't find no American flag in my house. Yeah, that's demonic. You know, because I didn't. My, I didn't come here. I didn't, my people didn't come here. Our people didn't come here by choice. Right. It didn't come in my choice. And and as far as what I know, I come from somewhere. I can't speak for anybody else. Mm -hmm. I know I come from somewhere. And I, when I spoke to my brothers and sisters from Africa, when the time when I was lost, I said, who am I? If I because I'm here, I'm not I'm not African. I'm I'm not black. But as one brother said from Africa, he said, you got to come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Got to come from somewhere. So that had me thinking like, oh, shoot, you're right. He said, he said, you're not, he said, you're not white, you're not European. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're not Indian. So I, that's when change, that's what that, and it came from one guy, one black man from Africa that said that to me. Mm -hmm. Changed my whole thinking. Because I was confused. 1918, I was lost. Mm -hmm. Didn't know who I was. And that's bad, that's bad. But well, you got white people know where they from. They can tell you about mm -hmm. Italy and, mm -hmm. and, and Poland and Germany. Look at look at Donald Trump. He can tell you about Germany. Mm -hmm. He's German. Mm -hmm. he, got, he could talk about he could be American all he want, but he, when it comes down to his history, he'll tell you all about Germany. Mm -hmm. We need to do the same thing. So that's what I'm saying. We could be a powerful nation because that's what because it's all about money, power, and respect. We need to we need to hit we need we need that. And we don't got none of that shit. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and that's where I'm, my frustration comes from. Okay. All right, brothers. All right, we out. Definitely. Um, we'll we'll talk again next time. Yes, sir. Craig, get some sleep. Yeah, get some yeah, sleep, Craig. Both of you guys. All right. Have a good night. Yeah, y'all too. All right, have a good night, brothers. Okay. Good night. Peace. Peace.